she should be joining any second now. Hey. Yeah. Whew. That didn't yeah. take forever or anything. <laughs> I am I'm so not paying, sorry. I'm not paying. No. Well, that was the other thing is like I had so many different windows yeah, up. I'm and then so you'd be sorry. Like, you're like My waving bad. in the corner at me like, I'm over here. <laughs> <laughs> please, please notice me, Senpai, please. <laughs> notice me, Wolf Senpai. Notice, Wolf senpai. Me. notice me. All right, perfect. So this is what I'm doing. I'm using my phone for my audio. I have muted the, sh muted the live screen on my computer so that okay. way I can still see and everything. Just, okay. you know, no one, no one gets to see me right now until we figure this stuff out. And you know what? Uh, Dizzy slash Kevin, I'm calling you. You're right. I can't help this storm happen to give me technical <laughs> difficulties. You're right. No, no, no. You're right. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. I'm, I'm agreeing with you. Hey, I just realized you and me have the same gaming headset. <laughs> Dizzy cool. was like ready to fight. He was like, let's uh, go. <laughs> well, I was ready to fight. I was like, oh no, did I actually say something bad? Did I actually make upset? I don't... <laughs> no, 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 no. No upsets. No upsets here. All right. No upsets. And these shoulders. We're actually All right. going to get started. Yes. Excited. We're doing this. We're uh, we're in, everybody. Hello. Everybody. Oh, I look. Actually, at the time, I gotta go. Actually, sorry, guys. Dang it! I knew it. I knew this. <laughs> I was gonna go. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye, guys. Uh, great game. GGs. GGs all around. GGs all around. <sighs> Holy crap! See this my, is huge. See my blood pressure just like skyrocket I'm oh, just kidding and this is when I killed wolf thank you for the lurk Dora King <laughs> narwhal crank <laughs> this it's okay he's recovering from I a see you this is when he really regrets being friends with me and inviting me to play <laughs> I'm just kidding oh, we're good. Uh, we do jokes Jokes? What are jokes? We're jokesters. We're jokesters. We finger piss pistols. <laughs> Whoa! Finger piss. Finger piss. Some people got some skills I didn't want to know about. Because <laughs> I'm promise. I promise. <laughs> I am a mature young woman. Mature. Yeah, absolutely. That was a lie. Mature. The mature. Exactly. The mature is definitely. None of us are mature here. Nah. No. So, we've got audio, we've got setup, we've got clean audio for everybody. We got yeah. all of our players here. Oh. Hey, just claps all around. Claps all around. All right, all right. Oh, it's true. This is true. This Reese's, this Reese's, uh, okay, we're going to actually have a debate real quick. I want to know, Reese's or Reese's? Uh, Dizzy, go first. Reese's. Thank you. Zach slash Zeus. You said Reese. Okay. Uh, Wolf slash Mike. Uh, Reese's. Thank God. You are all sane. Thank you. Who says Reese's? Johnny. Johnny Hawk. Johnny oh. Hawk says Reese's. Yeah. I, and he, he's now like knows that it, it, tri it triggers me. Doesn't really trigger me, but triggers me. So he'll, he'll really just every time, yeah, I really want some Reese's PCs. And I'm like, you son of a bitch. That's not how you say it. Everyone's getting the full D&D &D experience. Exactly. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I mean, granted, you are getting the full D&D &D experience uh, because no D&D &D game ever starts on time. If they say that they do, they are lying. I promise you. You know, the, the psychopaths who start D&D &D games on time also call it Reese's PCs. <laughs> I mean, facts are facts. I'm hearing, I'm hearing nothing but truth in that statement. We have our lovely players here. Welcome. We are going to get started with our kaiju D and D. We have uh, Dizzy Robot, hey. MVP Zeus, and Once Upon a Nope. Please uh, tell us the names of the characters that you will be playing and their racing class. Starting with um, highest. Hades first. Oh, highest. Uh, you did roll <laughs> highest. 
<laughs> oh, we're off to a great start. We're off to a great start. Yeah. <laughs> There's your order. There's your order. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Fred. That's me. Okay. Um, Zeus, I will be playing um, Inigo Copper. I am a human wyvern raider. This is a homebrew. Um, I wyvern is a purple colored wyvern named Jasmine or Jazz. Uh, what what else do you want? That's all I got. That's it. Perfect. Thank you. That was beautiful. Ten out of ten out of ten. Ten, ten out, out of ten. ten. All right. Ten out of ten. Let's turn the music off so we can actually hear ourselves talking. So, oh, just hear me talking. All right. Once. Hi. That's me. Uh, hi. I'm I'm Once, uh, also known as Laura. Yo. Uh, I am playing Moxie Tofana, a gnome alchemist that's ready to to kill kaijus and use their parts for her for her alchemy. Exciting stuff. Pew pew. Pew pew pew. I don't know why I'm doing finger pistols. You guys can't see it. I'm doing finger pistols. <laughs> They're there. Part of the process. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Absolutely. The finger pistols in spirit. Mm, we'll do mm -hmm. it for you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank Spirit you. Thank you. Guns. Spirit guns. Pew pew pew. Uh, but yeah, that's me. Do you use Akasha? Exactly. <laughs> Did everybody just have flashbacks? A little bit. <laughs> All right, Dizzy. Yeah. Uh, hi, I'm Dizzy, aka Kevin. Uh, I'll be playing Akishis Damertek, the blue dragonborn wire weaver oh, artificer. Oh. Jeez, that's a mouthful. <laughs> just, just, call, just call me Akishis, the eclectic, okay? That's fine. Just don't worry about it. No, the name was not the mouthful. Can I call you Quiche? Can I call you Quiche? That is then... actually very appropriate. That, that yeah, I'm, very, I'm calling you Quiche. Because uh, he is a chef in addition to being a, an artificer. He is a wire weaver, which is also a homebrew. So we're going to have some fun with this. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, can, can you tell me your character's full name again? Akishis. E T S. Oh, we're gonna go Kish because I will not yeah. remember at all. Look, Kish is fine. He's chef. It's fine. I love how we've spent all this time Equals. coming up with names, and it's like we're just gonna call you a food item. Slash Dizzy. Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. And then uh, Kish the Dragonborn. Let's go. I didn't even plan yeah. that. That. Thank you guys. That's You're welcome. Great. But that's that's all about the community of gaming is things change, and they yeah. either are better or worse depending on uh, what happens. So, <laughs> all right, excellent. So, um, now that we've introduced everybody, and uh, have our images down below from left to right, we have Akishas, uh, Indigo, and Moxie. So, their characters. Uh, hopefully, I would love to purchase these minis for you guys in the future. That is my plan, and ship them to you. Um, for those of you watching, Aww. we do have a Patreon, The Wolf Show. Um, and if we hit 100 patrons on Patreon, we will be doing mini giveaways for those that are interested. So, whew, now that we got the homework out of the way, or the housekeeping, whatever the phrase is, uh, we're going to get it started. As uh, any good event starts, it does not start with our characters. Um, we open on a scene of absolute destruction and burning villages, a carved out piece of land, and down to a beach shore, as something ripples out into the water and you see a human man bloody and dragging himself across the sand to a uh, fire and sets a beacon alight and then collapses as beacons light up across the islands Beacons are lit, and you see, yes, 
<laughs> that's all Zoom's you, reaction you know there. I wanna say, you know I want to say I that Gondor say, calls I for wasn't aid. Gonna, I you wasn't know gonna. they have called for aid. Yeah. Oh, they have called for aid. All right. Oh, uh, it. You see a montage of mm -hmm, mm -hmm. various demographics of characters and races receiving reports of there's been an attack, things have happened, and sending messages and flyers and everything like that. Uh, the Wyvern Court's sending messages across the land to call for fighters and adventurers to come deal with the threat. Cut to a rowdy tavern with people standing in queues, standing in lines to come up to tables to join the hunting crews. This has been identified as a water kaiju, uh, so they are focusing primarily on aerial and nautical craft for dealing with it. And you guys have agreed to join up on a ship captain's boat. And you all are standing in the line, walking up to meet the captain. Um, you are aware that the two most popular captains that are for hunts are Finian and Adel, and they are Aldil. Nope, I'm saying that wrong. Aldine. Aldine and Finian. They are twins, brothers, and absolute rivals in the very popular kaiju hunts in this culture. Oh, and, we're coming uh, into a family thing. Oh, it, it is an absolute family thing. Uh, they both have their own ships, their own commands, their own fleets. They are rivals in everything from hunting kaiju to trading back and forth across the islands. And uh, on the live stream screen, and I've sent you guys images of the picture of the main map of the area. There are a bunch of smaller island islands that are not visible from the scale of the map. But the primary island of trading is Kaiju's Fang in between Paradise Jungle and Eodrin. Um, a little bit of background history for those of you. Eodrin is basically a kaiju battleground. Nobody knows why but they regularly come to this peninsula and battle it out and as well as attacking surrounding areas and people basically try to maintain the threats keep them down and have basically decided that kaiju are a wonderful source of food and magic and materials leading them into a new age of uh, advancement However, kaiju cause a lot of damage, so they are in kind of a stalemate of being able to build amazing things while everything getting destroyed. <laughs> so, um, back to the tavern and the line. Um, we're going to go with our dice order for character introduction that we rolled earlier. And <laughs> so... It, amidst the rowdiness, there is a very um, insistent and consistent thunk, thunk, thunk as um, Inigo walks up to the table to introduce himself to Captain Aldine. And the Captain Aldine is large and gruff man with a large beard and several scars across his face. And first thing he says, he looks up to you and he goes, Can you keep up? Keep up just fine. I like to hear it. Occupation? I've been writer. Ah, excellent. I have a uh, wyvern launch on my ship. And you will do just fine as long as you don't fall off. Um, Not going to be a problem. <laughs> does anybody want to roll to see if you know what a Wyvern launch is? Mm. 
you guys are close enough to hear this conversation happening and it's happening very well. Oh, okay, like, okay. Yeah, no, you all are like standing in like like you guys are literally in a line together. You don't really know each other, but you happen to end up in the line with each other. Um we're the next we're behind each other in the queue. Yeah, pretty much. So I mean yeah, I'll I'll go for it. Okay. Intrigued. Intrigued, so yes. Okay. That's Zeus's. Where did they go? Uh, what, what's this going to be? This is just... Um, oh, we'll say, is. like, history. Or... Kind of... I think these are more of, like, kind of... Yeah, I'd say history. In general. Yeah, that's going to be a 12 for me. 12? Okay. Um... So, pretty pretty common knowledge. Uh, wyvern launchers they designed um, to put on the backs of ships because it gets exhausting for them to fly constantly overseas, and they will actually assign a wyvern to a ship for either sending messages or things like that. But ships don't have enough space or height for wyverns to take off. Successfully, most wyverns launch from cliffs or get a running start on flat ground. They don't just take straight up. So a wyvern launcher on a ship is uh, designed to basically, it's, it's like a catapult. And it gives the wyvern a boost into the air. And uh, this ship is equipped with one as well as the ballasts. Uh, capable of the wyvern being able to stay on the back of the ship and not cause it to sink. So uh, Jasmine will not need to continuously fly and or fly away to look for places to land while we were on this adventure. She will be able to she, I assume will be able to hang out uh, on the ship uh, until need for takeoff. So select so, you uh, sign for your share, and we move on to Moxie. How does how does how does Moxie approach the table? Um, she would definitely still be looking for the wyvern. She's very interested <laughs> in inside that. the tavern. She's yeah, <laughs> just to see, you know, she's she's just like, is is the wyvern here? Where is the wyvern? Um, I just see because this. she, she wants, she's like, I want to see this wyvern, you know. But she'll, you know, she, she's looking around, but then you know, she approaches the table, mm -hmm. uh, you know, to kind of make eyes with the captain. Uh, as you approach the table, there are a ripple goes through uh, certain individuals in the various crowd. Uh, fellow gnomes that are in the tavern uh, and they are all staring at you. This is a common occurrence for you, but it is noticeable to the other members around and even the captain uh, takes notice and says, uh, what about you is causing a hubbub? Moxie just points to a uh, symbol that is on her armor it is of a kaiju serpent eating its own tail, a sign of uh, just to what makes her known. Gotcha. The, uh, the captain nods and goes, ah, legendary crafter. Don't know from which one, but welcome aboard. What is your uh, occupation? Alchemist. He kind of nervously looks at you a little bit and goes now i know about you alchemists are you able to uh keep things contained on my ship see and just the just the biggest shit eating grin on her face when she says that <laughs> he laughs he's like just keep the explosions on the kaiju all right no promises and she'll just you know do what she needs to do and walk away all right, and uh, Hatius walks up. Did I say that right? 
Yep. It's awesome. quiche. Just quiche. 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 Well, okay. Uh, all the effort into learning how to say the name appropriately. Anyway, Keish walks up to the table, and uh, how does how does Keish approach? You just cut out there. Did I cut out there? Yeah. How, yeah, how does Keish approach the table? Um, over here, chocolate. You've you've Probably just for... seen, you know, kind of. You know, uh, you've heard about this wyvern. You've you've noticed that the the gnome is apparently well known, and uh, feel like do you need to make a statement, or are you just kind of he's probably he probably heard the the notice and immediately left, but like in the middle of doing prep, so he's got like an, He's got his splint armor on, but he's also got like an apron wrapped around his waist that he just kind of hastily like pulled <laughs> off. Is is the he... is the apron open like in front? Like yes. Like, does it have your logo? Uh, on it. Yeah. Okay. So. So, anything else before? Uh no, it's. He's just got this gleam in his eye. <laughs> The captain looks at the logo, looks at you, and goes, Oh, it's a good day. <laughs> He's like, I've been wanting to come to your sh your gourmet kaiju food for so long. What do you... I, I look forward to first row seats to your, to your shop after this one. Ah, uh, yes, there will be many new specials on the menu after this. Uh, so, um, let's see. Uh, let's do flat rolls for you two to see if you know why he's freaking out. Because, you like, you guys have just walked away from the table and all of a sudden you hear the captain, like, stand up and get all excited about, about this person. And, uh, so, whee! It's fun to see if you guys know. Uh, no! You have no idea. You guys have no idea why this captain is so excited what about this dragonborn. <laughs> you you have never heard of this dragonborn. Whoops. Just hit my computer. Uh never heard of him. Well, don't take it out all. on the computer. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. All right. So, that is excellent. <laughs> so, you will learn. <laughs> <laughs> you will learn. your character knows nothing all right so um do you all feel that you have everything that you would need to begin this journey on the ship do you feel like you need to go shopping for anything or anything in particular before because we can just jump right to it so i, I, I should be good How about you too uh you know, let me uh, let me just take a look here. Hold on, one moment, one moment. Take a look at your item list. Yeah, let me uh, pull up my. So for while she's looking at her item list, we're gonna have a scene of basically you all walking with the large the group of crew members that the captain has collected. Um, just a nice, colorful group of people. There's a few people singing and playing music. It, it's this is this is freaking a holiday fourth of july whatever you know you want to envision as like everybody's excited about a kaiju hunt and uh you, you know this is mardi gras just like people in the city are are in this port city are just all excited to see you guys go off to defeat this kaiju so it, uh, are there beads? Are we getting thrown beads? Can I get? Um, yeah, this is my. This is Mardi Gras, man. <laughs> uh, there, there uh, are definitely like, oh. not necessarily beads, but definitely yeah. like streamers, lays, things that kids have have sewn or uh, braided together. That's happening for sure. Um, but of course, you know, there are also shopkeepers and stuff like that that want the, they they want your patronage so that you'll come back and, uh, 
you know, that little trinket that helps you, that helps you defeat the kaiju that will make them popular is what they're looking to, to sell you. Mm -hmm. so, if there is anything that you guys feel like you need to purchase. Uh, Keish already has everything he needs. He's got cardamom, he's got salt, he's got pepper, he's got his meat cleavers, he's got his <laughs> cutting board. Oh, he's got man. cilantro, he's ready to go. He's ready to go. Oh, I There's believe you have uh is it is it following you? Your Oh the 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 bug the bug yeah. wagon. Yep. How uh, how big? So um the how big is this? It honestly, it's it's a food truck. Like it is food truck sized. Okay, so like you're not even walking. I'm just, like like you're sitting. Of... Okay. It's, like, um, it's moving forward. I'm just like checking my apron for inventory, and just like at one point he gets up and walks into the wagon while it's still moving forward. So what um what Keish has is basically a mobile food truck of things and items and things like that and it is driven by a horseless magical uh contraption that pulls it forward so that he doesn't have to drive it around drive it around and apparently uh he uh can get up and walk into the back however um, we've all seen enough movies to know that this probably won't end well. Um, <laughs> My cabbages. <laughs> I, I, yes, essentially. I have I have a question. Um, okay. Did you pay for the auto driving package? <laughs> nope. No, absolutely not. <laughs> absolutely not. Oh man. I have a five wisdom. Oh jeez. So he's just like going to check oh. inventory while his wagon's just slowly moving forward. People are like getting out of the way. Again, this is, you know, cre <laughs> you're not moving fast. It's crowds and crowds of people. Congratulations, Taco Smurf, for trying to gamble all your Boris, Boris coins and gaining so many coins. Holy crap. Oh, uh, nice. well done, sir. <laughs> Commander Shepard, the universe has questions. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> We're off to a great start. We are off to a great start. Uh, uh, so uh, the cart is moving along and people are getting out of the way. And, you know, there's yelling. Um, a few people banging on the side of it to let you know that it's about to go into the water. <laughs> he comes out. He's He's got like... He's got like a, a few like uh, casings around his neck. He's just like, whoa! All you see is the head pop out of the way. Whoa! <laughs> You're about to I'm go in the drink. <laughs> I'm busy here. <laughs> You're going into the drink. <laughs> is it? Uh, yes, I could use a drink, but not right now. <laughs> no, no, the ocean. You're gonna fall off the pier. <laughs> Where is the kaiju going to appear? Oh. <laughs> this random gnome mechanic like just jumps out and like starts pulling levers and pushing things and pulls it off <laughs> Folks, oh. Like a... oh thank you thank you thank you oh, gosh. we're off I to a great like start y'all mm -hmm. almost almost dumped the food truck in the drink this is this is great <laughs> and um uh... So, oh man! All right, so we're um, going down the path, and you guys arrive at the ship. It's definitely, you know, this is a full-sized war galley. You know, sweeping sails, massive. You know, like you're starting to realize that, like, um that this thing just will definitely hold this entire group of people and you have no problem all getting up on the gameplay and you know you're giving orders and people are yelling and 
finding bunks and everything like that. And uh, is there anything in particular that you guys need or want to say as like about the ship that you might want to add as like flavor to this ship? Like an empty table long enough for for Moxie to set up um, kind of a make her makeshift travel alchemist kit. Nice. Something, yeah, somewhere where you know she's she's limited on her supplies, but she's trying to make some last minute you know uh, things before the fight. Nice. Each definitely um, pulls the the bugger wagon into the the uh, the cargo hold and like. So oh, we definitely have a scene of like one of those cargo cranes like pulling it up and over. And down into the bottom of the ship. Mm-hmm. So he's like strapping it down, and like the second he has it strapped down, he's like he shuts off the uh, the engine, which I don't. Know, I imagine it just look like three boxes with wheels just pulling the cart along. Suspiciously simple. <laughs> Suspiciously simple. Yes. So he he like chocks all the wheels and gets everything bolted down. And then immediately starts make going through his uh his prep work, getting all like all of the like the vegetables ready because he's he's ready to start cooking as soon as they they get this kaiju. Nice, nice. Mm. I like it. And he's like checking so, his armor, checking his uh his wires, making sure everything's good to go. So we get a we get a montage of of Keish turning this into just an absolute uh, kitchen on the move, ready to go. Mm-hmm. I like it. Well, speaking of food, uh, right next to um, where the wyvern launch is, we have a huge um, like horse trough of food and water for the the wyvern. So you uh, see a purple wyvern kind of screech, and it will. <laughs> Your fly over and land right next to the launch and he began uh dining on whatever <laughs> whatever food they have sitting out there for wyvern so what, what it's definitely that? it's definitely just just cuts and cuts of meat and meat, yep. so you for see the... some of the you see some of the, the like guys looking at your wyvern size and like okay yeah we should have I hope we have enough. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Moxie definitely at this point is like, now that she's seen Jazz, she like eyes are wide. Like she has a glint in her eyes. Like she's so excited to see this wyvern. So, um, so let's get a description of, of kind of the wyvern. We know she's purple, but like, what's kind of her demeanor, like attitude wise? Like, Oh, she's, she definitely has like a if she could talk, she would definitely have like that that smart ass style attitude. Um very would be very snarky. Um but no, apart from that, honestly, just like uh she looks very intimidating but is also like kinda secretly a, a sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Deals. So she could have an attitude problem at times. I love it. Continue once. Uh, what is your your reaction to this? Um. Oh gosh, my brain is farted. It, <laughs> a toot. There's a toot. There's a toot. Um. I think she's just again. She's in marble and awe of the wyvern, but knows the reason she's in a marble and awe of because of jazz is because she knows of the poison that the wyvern has in its fangs and such that she just she wants it that's what she wants most of all yeah let do you want to do a nature roll to see if you can tell if this wyvern is mature enough for this Mm. yes oh that's the wrong dice All right, 
So fifteen. Do you? What do you, do you have? Bonuses for what would it be for? Um. Um. That would be uh, intelligence. Intelligence. It's the number. Okay, because just for clarity sakes and everybody so that's this is my first ever D D campaign so i'm gonna ask questions i'm gonna that's need... perfectly fine yeah gotcha. so on the character sheet is that the number that's underneath my intelligence like i would add it to my to my roles yeah so plus or minus whatever oh, okay so my intelligence is plus plus three yeah plus three nice. thank you taco i appreciate that so yeah, you add plus three to your nature check. So one, eighteen. Yeah, eighteen. So, um, what was that total? You said plus three. Yeah, plus three. Okay, plus three. So, yeah, you you know that like this because it's uh level six right zeus uh, yeah, for the poison six, so I'm you not quite mature enough yet not i mean but you know that it's like it's gonna be soon like it, it, that just imagine makes you very excited so Taco is uh, taking care of making sure people get their points if they want to exchange channel points for Boris coins to be able to throw events into our game. So, oh, well, that's it's already happening. There are some people who have been watching for a while that probably have a lot of coins to turn in. Uh, so you can exchange full moons, which you join, which you get just by watching on Twitch, for. Boris coins. So anyone who has been watching for a long time that has a backlog of full moons with nothing to do for them can turn them in for Boris coins, and we will make sure you get those. So. All right, but let me just go ahead and redeem all of mine so I don't have the kaiju coming after us at any given point. Let's just go ahead and jump that. There, down. there is no no kaiju. <laughs> all of them, all of them are the exact opposite. Is is to direct the kaiju towards you. Fine. You were also not allowed to redeem points. I covered this. Already. I know. <laughs> what? Players, if you guys want to redeem points, then you can watch other games that you are not in. <laughs> oh, you better believe. <laughs> Any game yeah. that Dizzy is not in, he will literally just show up and be like, the kaiju attacks. I mean, I've got 1.7 thousand. Let's go. Anyway. <laughs> oh... Tago, if somebody redeems an amount that you cannot um, give to them, let me know, and uh, I will I will throw it in there for you. So, all right. Because let's see, Pat Jim redeemed a hundred, and then ten thousand. So, I will handle that one. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy, uh, oh, boy, oh, boy. No, it's okay. So, the I did the times amount times the amount of... Not that hard. No, no, I can do it. I got him. Yeah. Add points. This should work. So, uh, Taco Smurf, any points that you give to people that you've collected, uh, let me know, and I will redeem those back to you uh, later. So, he is rich. He's been watching for a very, very long time. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, I should just make Taco a super moderator so he can just give points to people. So... I mean, the run with the cash while you still can. Oh, All good. right. <laughs> yeah. I so, mean, hey, streamer, uh, viewer interaction. I love it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right. So, we've got an established uh, Jazz 
is hanging out on the back of the ship. Uh, he's just down in the hole starting to chop some carrots and do whatever potato peeling. I'm, I'm imagining a full-on treasure planet uh, silver just, you know, cutting and shaving away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and, like, if something's on the other side of, like, the kitchen of where he is, he just, like, reaches out a hand, shoots out one of his wires, grapples it, and brings it over to him so he doesn't have to move. I love it. You're just like, snap, grab. <laughs> yep. Efficiency. It's very efficient. Oh, and I imagine does does Moxie hum to herself? Oh, absolutely! Like full on coming up with her own songs while she's like mixing potions and. Oh yes, she's just you know having she's found her table. She's got her kit set up on there, just filled to the brim with everything that she needs. Um, and then yeah, just she's she's in her own world now, just making. What she needs to make. <laughs> I love it. So. Uh, throw that in there. We won't say why. No. Uh oh. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. dun. <laughs> All right. So everybody gets to roll a perception check. Uh, that's just going to be a flat 12 for me. Flat 12? Oh, that is, okay. It will be a 12 for me as well. 12 for you? Okay. Uh, and then I have, I guess, plus 5 with my perception, so... Yeah. So that's 8 plus 5, so... Wait, wait, was that an 8? I thought it was a... You're... No, I have a 9, right? You're... Oh, you're... no, that's... I'm looking at someone else's. Yep. Yeah, you're right. You're, you're right, pink. Right. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> Thirteen, baby. Thirteen. 13. So two twelves and a thirteen. 13. And that is. Does that beat a five? Well, it depends on the bonuses. Doing math in my head. One second. Math. We don't know her. What? What is? What is this? Math. I've never heard of it. Absolutely oh. never have. Oh, hey, question. Just... Does my wife earn get to roll for perception? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, where's Jasmine's dice? She should get some dice. This is very true. <laughs> I forgot this. Um, wow. Second character page just for her. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Didn't know oh, this. I have, keep, I have to keep up with like all of her stats and her own HP and stuff. <laughs> uh. Okay. So... Are you kidding me? Hey! Hey! First 20 of the session. 20 goes to Jasmine. First 20 she of the is still at 12. Freaking jeez. First 20 of the campaign goes to the Wyvern Companion. Uh, we're not counting the 20 for 12. Nah, I'll do the 20 because it was a straight roll. I was just curious what it would turn into when I rolled it. Um, so, all right, so, <laughs> dang it, um, so, uh, this is, this is what Jasmine sees, and uh, for character-wise, um, oh, jeez, we're, we're really gonna get into this quick, um, The rest of you feel uh, a a shift of air, like the wind, that is slightly different. It, it just feels like the wind breezed in a different direction for a second. Jasmine notices a line of... Uh, uh, bumps out in the water that look like rocks out in the bay. Line of rocks or look like looks like rocks. Yeah, looks like bumps of rocks out in the out in the bay. 
Out in the bay. That is that is what she sees. I'm going to because uh for those listening, uh one of the abilities is that if I'm within hundred feet, my wyvern and I can uh basically know each other's like thoughts and emotions. Um Ooh. telepathically, yeah, that's what I was looking for. So I'm gonna kinda feel what she's feeling and I'm gonna start leaning heavily on my, my cane, start clucking over to where she is to okay. see what she's looking at. Alright. So walking over to the side of the boat, you look out and you also can see a line of rocks that wouldn't be safe in in a bay like this. Like clearly like whoever designed this bay did not take into account this line of rocks that are out in the water. Um and uh <laughs> you're very you're very suspicious of these rocks. I will I will say that. I'm going to uh Captain <laughs> The, the the captain, you know, kind of, kind of, just kind of shakes his head and is like, "We're busy trying to cast off. What do you need?" Yeah, but there's uh, some weird looking rocks in the way. Freaking <laughs> flying <laughs> land lovers don't know nothing about oceans or water, and he comes walking <laughs> up to the side of the boat, and you see him like slam his arm and like kind of look out at these rocks. And his face goes white. And grabs a whistle from around his neck. And starts blowing. And bells and alarms break out across the ship. And it spreads through the bay. And something that... Out of line of sight that you all can't see, a uh, someone is a little too hasty, and you see a arrow into the water near one of the rocks. Oh, and those rocks suddenly rise about twenty feet. And become a ridged snout as long as the ship. Oh, huh. Which is a full freaking war galley. And directly across from where you are, Zeus and the captain and the dragon, a multi lidded eye opens. That is as big as Jasmine, at least. Just going to uh, go to the captain and be like, "What was that about being a, a being a land lover?" <laughs> <laughs> the captain just looks at you and was like, just shakes his head and starts shouting orders. The kaiju, while everybody was preparing arrived in the bay. This creature is incredibly stealthy for its size. And all around the bay, people begin to kick into battle. The battle has begun. However, such a large creature displacing water not very far God. from you has created a wave. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. The boat's about to be rocking. Dizzy? Yeah. And once you mm -hmm. are not aware of what's happening. Nope. Nope. Yeah, we're both probably still below deck. Doing you are the below things. decks. So oh. you both will be rolling with disadvantage on okay. um, your choice of either 
uh, athletics or agility to to handle this wave coming in. Oh, give me that athletics check. Okay. So. No acrobatics, uh, please. I'm gonna do acrobats because I don't have anything plus for my uh. Okay. For my athletics, so acrobats gonna have to be for me. I'm not doing athletics because I have no plus for my acrobatics. Uh, that that hey. one's for uh, Jasmine. So. Yeah, me me and Jazz are both gonna do athletics. Yeah, you both get advantage, so. <laughs> Um, or not advantage, you guys get flat rolls for being aware already. So. Big rolls, big rolls, big rolls! Alright. All right. So, Mad Zeus does... Me? Okay, but remember, you get a disadvantage. Yeah. So... Oh, no. We have to roll again. Uh... Um... Right, so, so 15 and 20. 15 and 20. Again, um, yeah. I, because mine was that flat roll, uh, I rolled a, mine will be a 23. 23? Jazz will be an 8. <laughs> Wait, okay, can, can someone, real quick, whose dice is whose? So that way I know, because I... Okay, uh... you're pink once. Oh, I knew that. I knew, I knew okay. that one. This I knew is that. Zeus. That was me. Zeus is... I'm, um, I'm green and purple. Green okay. and purple. Uh, red is going to be kind of our random, while also being jazz because I didn't build one for jazz. Okay. And then the the dark blue, blue. One is for dizzy. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you, thank you. So, <laughs> me. All right. Taco. Nice. So, <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> oh man. So. All right, and yeet for Dizzy. Also rolled a fifteen. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. all right, cool. So, find that twenty. It was lovely having you. Oh, oh. seven. So, what's your bonus for that? Uh, for uh, acrobatics plus four. Okay. All right. So that's eleven. That's eleven. Hey, wait, I got the first natural. Can we just say I got the first natural 20 of the campaign or the game? So good for me. Yay. Immediately taken away. Yeah, immediately. <laughs> it was held in front of me and then just yay. Take it away. Needed. Yeah. Thank you for the lurk, Taco Smurf. We appreciate you. It was Laura, taken off to you. Uh, but yeah. uh, my wife rolled the first natural 20 of the game. Yeah. Oh. Okay, the first... You were, you were the first player. Yes, yeah, the first, first player. Yeah. Yes, 100%. Matters. <laughs> you know what, right. I will gladly uh, give my crown to Jasmine. I'm, I'm gladly okay with that. Now I'm uh, just picturing Jazz with like this... She's like this amethyst dragon with like a floating golden crown over her. <gasps> that would be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, majestic. Mm -hmm. majestic as fuck so all right who gets the person that 20 that sticks <laughs> mm -hmm. zeus is close zeus is yeah. really close right um so, yeah, so my, mine's gonna be a 19 total yeah so um quiche and uh you know you guys have no problem what did i say Dindigo. Yeah, I did not say his name correctly. Indigo. Windigo? He's a wind. <laughs> it's a windigo. No, indigo. Oh no. Indig it oh no. I've been oh, no. trying to say his name correctly in my head, and I keep saying indigo, and I'm like, that's not right. I was like being Princess Bride. I was like, yeah. Indigo Montoya. Yes, my father, exactly. Um, to be by my wife. Right? So that's mm -hmm. what mine goes right. You both. <laughs> exactly. Uh, you both uh, are able to catch yourselves and stabilize. Um, unfortunately, Moxie, chaos ensues. Your table dumps all over the place, and uh, components and, and potions everywhere as the ship rocks. And uh, you, you are going to have to pull yourself together before anything happens. 
Uh, and unfortunately, Jasmine, um, <laughs> so what happens is Jasmine is on the end of the ship and oh basically the ship rocks. Jasmine falls off the ship, oh. but Jasmine's not a small wyvern and does land on the dock but she is going to have to get up and decide what she, you're going to have to decide what she's going to do if she's going to try to get back on the ship or if she's going to go try to do something else before she gets involved in the rest of what's happening uh, so uh, to give you guys an update in the background the kaiju uh, is is not really it has not actually spotted the party specifically you are not the focus of the kaiju um, because other people in the bay were quicker to attack. And the kaiju is beginning to move through the bay, uh, destroying ships mm -hmm. as this happens. So, um, what do you guys want to do next? As far as, like, your choices. Because you were... The battle is happening. You guys have not joined it yet. So the captain is still trying to get his ship moving. Because obviously they're sitting ducks right where they are. As well as getting his troops ready to battle. Um, he has oh, not given you specific orders. Because you guys are freelancers. So he is focusing primarily on his crew. At the moment. Oh boy. Quirk. I'm going to um if uh you know do the whole like whistle and uh start having jazz uh get back up on her feet and fly back towards me. Okay. So um she does not need to fly. Uh she can she's literally right on the edge of the ship, so she can just do a climb action to to literally just climb back up the ship. So, uh, so that's what she does. She gets to her feet, and you, the the rest of you hear scratching and clawing as she digs in, and just the whole ship rocks to one side <laughs> as this wyvern just pulls herself back up onto the ship, and uh, so the this this because of the ballast was prepared for more of a wyvern, less of a wave, like. It there, there's less of it. It's more of just a rocking instead of the whole mm -hmm. ship being, you know, thrown up against the dock like it was from the kaiju wave. So nobody needs to make any rolls or anything like that. Yeah. So, um, so, uh, Keish, you are not aware of what's going on. All you know is everything else went crazy and you caught the falling knives and bottles and whatever else and put them back on the shelf. So, uh, but you do, do hear, calm. you do hear all the yelling and screaming and something is happening and people screaming kaiju, it's you know, like, <laughs> time yet. everyone calm down. I'm not ready. <laughs> Still has no idea what's going on. Oh, so he just, he, he, he just thinks it's part of the festivities or something like that. Because like, everybody's, you know, already getting started with the craziness. So oh, like, yeah. geez. Oh, no. The hangry, the hangry, <laughs> the hangry, the hangry shipsmen and such. Where there's a riot happening for the food. That's what it is happening right now. Basically, oh, I love it. Yeah. I love he, it. Negative three wisdom. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so intelligent. Very unaware of what's going on. <laughs> uh -huh. God, I love it. Oh, okay. And Moxie. So chaos has it soon and your potions are everywhere. Yep. What are you doing? Um, you know, she's she's trying to, you know, s scavenge and get the most things that she could, you know, she as she was working on potions. Some of them yeah. fell off the table. One being this particularly strong acid from a previous kaiju that starts burning <laughs> a hole on the the ship. Uh, you know, just it's a little, just a little is, fun. Just is a, this a is fun. this bad enough that it will actually cause damage to the ship, eventually? 
you know, we're going to worry about that later. We're going to worry about that later. <laughs> that is a problem for the future. Oh, no. Yeah. The, <laughs> uh, but she's going to, you know, just manage to get as much of the vials that she had made or was in the process of making, you know, putting those away um, in her bag and then putting the vials that she knows she can use. Uh, you know, she has across her chest two belt, like almost utility belts that she yeah. just kind of like puts in those vials and such and uh, grabs her, uh, make sure she grabs her, her slingshot to make sure that it's, it's attached to her hip, her crossbow in hand. And uh, she's a, uh, she's going to go find out what, what caused that she's going up after she cleans the mess up as best as she can. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, so we're going to roll back around to, the Waving Raider. What what do you what do you want to take as kind of your first action as like um, the... Okay, so at this point uh, the what Jazz is back next to me, right? Yes. She has climbed up the ship and is now next to you. I'm going to kinda of climb on her back and start Strapping into the the harness that is attached to her. Okay. And we decided that was a full action. Yes. Okay. Because <laughs> reason. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what is what is this strapping like? Is it a full like saddle where you're like belted around and your legs are strapped in? Did you kind of decide um... what it looks like or? So it's pretty much just like a regular saddle where, mm -hmm. um, like, uh, my, like, yeah, so I'm just sitting in there, no, like, no seatbelt, no anything like that. But right. My right, my right leg is, is just kind of like free float in there. That's fine. Um, uh, my left, on the left side for my left leg, there is a series of like straps and harnesses that will attach it basically to the saddle and the side of, of jazz. That's the gotcha. part that, that needs to be. Then. Gotcha. All right. Good deal. Um. So. Uh. Keish, one of the crewmates, like, starts banging on the side of your thing, like, and yelling "kaiju, kaiju, kaiju!" Like, you know, there's a kaiju out here. I'm sorry. There's a what? <laughs> Kaiju! Outside! You're here to fight them, aren't you? I mean, already? Nope. He, like, <laughs> drops everything Dude. onto the onto the workbench and just... Uh, Ro so, like, so you know. there is, like, you're on a ship, and where your level is, there is actually, like, There's what? a porthole. I was like, we're on a ship? Okay. What? <laughs> <laughs> You guys are on, a, on ship. a ship. I didn't notice. <laughs> but because but you are on happen. a ship and you are at the level of like higher up on the wall of the cart, like there is actually like a porthole. So if you want to do anything exciting, how 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 much higher up? Um, you're in a cargo area, so I imagine it's like ten, twelve feet. You know, oh, like up a wall. So cool. I've got 30 feet of climbing. Let's so I'm gonna just go <laughs> like I'm gonna shoot my cable into the ceiling and climb up the wall to get up to the porthole. Do you open the porthole? Yes. So that'd be my move action, and then I'll take an action to open up the porthole. So you grab the porthole and pop it open okay. and this circular vision that's about as big as you know, you, you could squeeze through it, you know, if you needed to. You see... <laughs> you see a mouth with jagged teeth grab a ship off in the distance across the bay and just a blur as the body of the kaiju spins and drags the ship under. And you see the beginning of another wave coming towards the ship. <laughs> he 
Kish goes wide eyed and just like his tongue kind of lolls out of his face, going, Oh, oh you look tasty. <laughs> We're doing another one. What is your guys' role choice I for athletics or uh, uh athletics all day, every day? Okay. Anybody? Yeah, I mean, I got, I got to do aerobatics again. Okay. Look. All right. Good rolls. Good rolls, everybody. Okay, not a great roll. Not a great roll, everybody. <laughs> Jasmine needs to get in the air, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> quick question. Uh, quick question. Yeah. Uh, since I am already harnessed in, do I? Would it just be one roll for Jazz and I? Do we? Um. That's a good question, because uh, I don't think I was aware that you had... You you were strapped in. Um... Hey guys, the storm's over. There's blue skies, out. Think... Blue skies outside. It's beautiful. I think... Uh... Yeah, I think it would be one roll. Um... Yeah. But, obviously, if you're on Jazz... Then it needs to be her bonuses and everything like that because she's the one physically uh, moving. Yeah, so, you, you cut out. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? No, I was saying that it would have to be Jazz's bonuses her, because her, she yeah, is yeah, the yeah. one physically moving. Um, yeah, yeah. So, do you want me to re roll hers since uh, we didn't really decide? Oh yeah, you can just uh, at th at this point right now you can just yeah just roll my dice and we'll just use that for hers. Okay. So we'll do that and make it a little less confusing. Yep. Yeah. So, um, what's your bonus again, Moxie? Uh, for acrobatics, uh, mm -hmm. plus uh, plus four, plus four, plus four. Okay. So She's you got ten, baby. You got lucky. <laughs> uh, the aware the awareness of a situation happening. You were going up the stairs oh. to find out like what happened when when it hits, and you like balance yourself in the stairwell, like to either yeah. side, and like you know, and I, I'd say you even kind of like popped your feet up again, like whoa, okay. <laughs> like and wrote it out. Um, oh, so. she's she she'd be laughing because at this point she knows. Oh. What's going. <laughs> yeah, there are just she knows what's about to go down, and oh, she is shit. ecstatic. Uh, we just got a natural twitty and for jazz. There jazz it is. is. Hey. There it is. All right, so what we're gonna go for this? This is gonna be great, guys. So. The ship rocks with this new wave, and at the peak of the wave, Jazz steps back onto the Wyvern launcher, as though she's been doing this all her life. And do you have your lance out, I would assume? Um, I, uh, I don't yet. I okay. That, uh, he kind of, there's like a... a... On the side of the, the saddle, he keeps it kind of, like, strapped there that he can reach down and grab it. Ooh, is your cane still... Do you still have your cane? Like, because you were in the middle of, like, strapping in when this happened. Oh, dang. I, I, so I was... I normally would say that uh, he kind of has, like, a couple of separate, like, compartments on the saddle. One to, like, mm -hmm. keep the cane in. One to keep the lance in. Okay. But honestly, like, with all that stuff happening, if he just kind of dropped it and lost it, that would be totally understandable. No, 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 because, because, okay, so I'll just tell you what's going to happen, because this is great. And, like, you have your cane, you flip it around, and you catch the launch, the launch, like, lever, as she steps back onto it. And just take off. Like, your cane hooks the lever, pulls it, and you guys are airborne. <laughs> Luckily, you pulled the right lever, not the wrong one. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> and we lost Dizzy for a few seconds. He's a uh, comeback. All right. 
Is he coming back? Who He's knows? coming back. There he is. Yeah, there he is. Hey. Oh, still can't quite hear you. Hello. Hello. <laughs> there Hello. he is. Okay. I keep forgetting. I've got a mute setting up here, and I've got to click on my headset. So. <laughs> mm. All right. So you are braced in the bolt hole. You roll an 18. Where's the, the uh, 22? 22. I mean, you get a face full of water, but nothing. Like, you're you're locked in that hole. Um, so. I am fixated on that kaiju and just... <laughs> Like the the splash of salt water in my face gives me an inspiration of hmm you could probably salt that and put a little bit of that in with a little bit of that and he's 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 fixated on it but he's he's already starting to daydream about what he's going to make out of it. All right, so Just imagine you guys, that, like you guys <laughs> being kind of fully aware of what's going on. Are you ready to roll for initiative? Let's see. Get your arrows. Okay. Let's go. Oh, so. boy. All right. Everybody got your initiative bonuses ready? Yeah, my big fat goose egg. Hey, I have Ooh. a I have quick, quick question about yeah. this. Yeah. <laughs> so let's say, hypothetically, for your argument's sake, mm -hmm. you have a bad deck score. Does, uh, does, can you have negative initiative? You're just at the bottom. <laughs> or does it default to zero? <laughs> so... I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> what is... What is... Uh, what is Jasmine's deck score? Because you're currently on her. Um, hers is a zero. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so your initiative is zero. <laughs> I don't know if you have any bonuses with your class or race. I so I think the initiative still goes even though I'm on her. I think according to the it still class, goes for it you. Still goes off mine, which is why I'm asking. Hey, can you have a negative initiative? What is your initiative? What is is it? Um. Well, if we go off my dex modifier, uh, I will have a negative four. <laughs> If we have negative initiative, uh, I have a minus one. This is a great start. Uh, this is a great start. <laughs> it's it's like we just rolled a nat twenty to launch you into the air, and now you have to what? Wait a turn. Wait a whole turn. That's for you to decide. Oh jeez, I'm not gonna make you. I didn't nat one it. It just means I'm going... Yeah, no, I know, but, like, you're, like, negative, negative, no. Uh, we'll just put you at the bottom of the initiative, which is I'm fine. So far at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, let's see where this falls. You are not as low as the freaking Taiju. Holy crap. <laughs> well, again, it, de it depends. Um, <laughs> am I at a three or a negative one? Because <laughs> that kind of changes things. Oh, jeez. That's a good point. And, I mean, I guess initiatives don't necessarily have crit fails, right? Unless you play that way. <laughs> yeah, I, think I think it's a health roll. Yeah, that tends to be a house rule. So, um, so I'm I'm gonna kind of go to like like zero as your negative. Like you can't actually go into negatives. Negative. Um, so you're still at the bottom of the initiative. We're not gonna do a crit fail. That's so the the I the kaiju will that. go before you. Um, but checked out. <laughs> that's okay. Um, so, Dizzy, you'll be going first, and oh. then once the Kaiju, and Indigo, and Jasmine. So, what would you so like to do, is... sir? How far away is this thing? This thing is probably... 
The last you saw of it, it grabbed a ship and went underwater. So it is not currently visible to okay. you. Uh... Um, the last you saw, it was about 500 feet out. Like, it was out there. Okay, so we really need to get this ship moving. You can either get this ship moving, or you guys are still in the bay. You do not have to stay with the ship. So, that is up to you. I would get the ship moving. Like, this, we need to get out there to that. I, I, I need, I need, mm -hmm. I do. I'm okay, hungry. so, um, at the moment, the sails have not been unfurled. Like, the the ship. I'll give you some. I'll give you some options. The ship okay. is still tied to the dock. The sails have not been unfurled. Um, those are the two things that you could choose to do one or the to help with one or the other, and um, to get the ship moving. Now let's get the let's get the ship untied first. Okay. So you're on the wrong side. That's fine. I'll. Uh... You're on the star. You're on starboard, right? Because they normally dock to port. Eh. Or is that a thing? I don't know which way it works. You cannot. Uh, you know for a fact because you're obviously looking out onto the bay that the dock is behind you. Yeah. So. So I'm gonna. Uh, how far up is the deck of the ship? From, From where, where you I... are at the porthole, um, if you were to literally go right out the window and climb up the side. Um, it would be I'm trying to think because you're about halfway up the side of the ship. Yeah. How tall are ships normally of this size? Big. Big. I know. Size <laughs> big. Nice, so. Like the actual ship itself. Because I'm thinking of like a war galley big. size. They're not. They're what, 50 feet? 40 feet? Or something like that? A tall uh, bigger. I don't I'm I'm trying to guess because like you're still sitting in water, so Well, we have technology, we can look. <gasps> <laughs> kind of forget that while I'm sitting here. <laughs> there's this great invention. Well, maybe right. not great, but there's this invention. It's called the internet. The internet. Uh, war. A, a war galleon, a 500 ton with a length overall reaching 160 feet and a beam of 32, 32 feet. feet. Is so, that from water to, to the side yeah, of the ship? Water. Okay, so like from where you are, which was above the water line about halfway, so it's only like 15 feet up for you to be on the deck of the ship. So... Yeah, so... Are you going to use your wires, or are you going to physically climb? Uh, I'm going to... I can climb as long as I have my wires equipped, so I'm going to use my wires and... I'm going to use my <laughs> wires and get up the ship to climb using my move action. I have 30 feet. Okay. And then once I clear the side, I'm going to use... I'm going to move again for 30 more feet. And how close does that get me to the let's see how wide does that dimensions that you were just looking at tell you how wide across the ship was uh it doesn't say anything about width let's see let me pull up a picture <laughs> yeah and then i can decide The, this would be great if we were playing Star Wars. <laughs> right? <laughs> it immediately pulled up like a crazy dimension. Uh... Next campaign, next campaign. We'll know, Star right? Wars. All right, cool. Let's go. So if it's 30 up and you need boats to be wider than they are up and down. <laughs> yeah, generally. I, I'd say probably 
it's like 60 across. Okay, so... Just kind of double that for now. Just right, so for it's... So it's safe. Like 15... So 15 up, and then 15 across. So 45... Okay, and then I'll use my bonus action to use my cables to boost uh, 20 feet towards the uh, tie. Gotcha. And that'll be my turn. So, so your character grabs the porthole, swings out, zoops up to the top, grabs the railing, bolts across the line, zips out to the side, grabs one of the masts, and yinks you forward, and you are running toward that tie to cut it free. So, yeah. I love can't it. can't cut it yet, but... I'm, I mean, I'm, you're running that way. <laughs> oh, yeah. Your hand's on that. Do you, do you have the hand on the cleaver or the knife? <laughs> <laughs> the cleaver. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, all right. Once you were in the stairwell, coming up to the top of the ship, what are you? What are you doing? Okay. So am I? So Moxie's still. She's kind of like. Would you say she's like almost to the top of the stairs to like be I, out? I would deck? say. I would say that at the start of this turn, you. Your head pops up, and we'll say that um, that Keish goes zipping over you. That's why he used his line was actually mm -hmm. to, to launch over you as your head popped up out of the there we go out of the stairwell. So he goes flying over your head as you come over this at the top of the <laughs> stairs. Okay, I'm trying to think what I want to do here with her. She's probably going to, like, try to, like, at this point, still come up this, obviously, take the remaining amount of stairs so she can be fully on the deck. Mm -hmm. um, and then looking for the kaiju, because she knows at this point that mm -hmm. kaiju's out there, and she is ecstatic. <laughs> uh, so, you didn't see, do you want to make a perception roll real quick? To yeah. see if, okay. So... What's your perception bonus? Oh, that's what I'm trying to get real quick. No worries. Perception is plus five. Plus five. Okay, so that's 11. Um, Why am I doing shitty rolls right now? <laughs> we'll, we'll work on it. We'll get those better rolls. Yeah. Uh, get them all out now. Exactly. True, true. Very true. Uh, so you... You're looking around, and you can see, like, debris floating out in the water, uh, people shooting into the water in kind of a general area, but you are mm -hmm. not 100% certain where mm. where the kaiju ended up. So. Okay. So that actually brings us to the kaiju's turn. Mm -hmm. Um... Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. So you all see uh, a, a bow wave up here as the kaiju's tail whips through the water towards um, beginning to move towards your guys' ship. Off, uh, still about 400 feet out. So there are other ships and docks in between where you guys are and this, but it becomes very apparent from all the yelling and everybody pointing and like, there it is. Oh, um, because it absolutely tanked that stealth roll. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was not stealthy at all. <laughs> so. Um, I apologize. I just realized once, was there anything else you wanted to do? Because I was just like, you did your perception roll and I moved on. So, I'm sorry. Once, are you there? So, what was gone? No, so I realized that like I, I had you do the perception roll and then I moved right on to the kaiju. Was there anything else you wanted to do? So... 
Sorry, you were like cutting out real bad for me. Sorry. Can you hear me now? Is it clear? Better, yes. Okay. So I I jumped to the kaiju without letting you really finish your turn. Was there anything else you wanted to do? Would that have been my movement going to look for the kaiju or would that have been my action? Um, if Doing the perception is literally a, like you're spinning your head around. There's no movement involved in that. Mm. Um, so, because, you know, the ships are flat, so you're just looking. Um, your movement was like three feet to the top of the, you know, you just moved mm -hmm. about three feet to get to the top of the stairs. So you still could move a direction on the ship if you wanted to. Okay. Um, so I guess my question is then... That would so that would have been an action for me looking for the kaiju. Yes. Yes, you were actively okay. looking. Mm -hmm. Then I guess that that's it because it would for me to load up my weapon. Would that be considered an action? Um. Technically, but like, if you you didn't really move, so if you wanted mm -hmm. to ready a weapon, I'd be perfectly fine with it. So. If you were in more like, if you were in like more like currently active combat happening, I'd be a little bit more stringent on it. But like, you're not in any immediate danger or anything like that. So. Yeah, no, then no, I'm I'm good right now. There was nothing else really. Okay, so then the you know, you all of you see the chaos happen out in the water where the where the kaiju failed to sneak through the bay. So that brings us to the Wyvern Rider. You bet me. What would you like to do? Uh, you you are probably I would say that the launcher puts you at like mass height. So that those are normally what fifty to a hundred. Up. Um. Yeah, about there. Yeah. So you're 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 you you just kind of, and you guys can choose a direction or what you want to do. Um, so how far how far did you say the kaiju was? From your current location, it's about four hundred feet away. Okay. Um, I'm pretty much just gonna use my turn to dash and start heading towards the kaiju. So your dash is uh with uh Jasmine it would be uh eighty feet. Eighty feet, nice. So there's a and the wyvern takes off toward the kaiju. I love it. So that brings us back to Dizzy. So All right. So I'm going to pull out one of my steak knives and I'm going to get that cord cut. All right. So, can move it. so that, that, uh, that is, does not require any specific action, I assume, because you keep your knives very sharp. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I have a whetstone on me. I'm always keeping my knives extra sharp. Uh, and I have, I have, Three daggers on my character at a, at all times. I love it. So, you you run up to the line and you <laughs> like there's a poor guy trying to like pull and untie it and you just step past him and just cut it and the ship <laughs> lurches a little bit as it cuts free from the dock. And... Yeah, it's been it's been rocking and rolling and it's still tied to the dock. Um, Oof. so this. This galley, I will say, does have minor, like, sweeps and rows. So as you cut that line, those push out from the dock, and and the ship does move away from the dock as you cut that line. So, mm -hmm. um, anything else you want to do? Um... They're moving. The sails are. 
Yeah, they're, 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 they're starting to unfurl this uh, as much as they yeah. need to to move around. There's so, there's not a lot of sail maneuvering that they can do in the bay the way it is. Um, it's yeah. more of prep. So yeah, so he's gonna uh, begin moving towards the bow, the front of the ship. Okay. So that as soon as they get within range of the kaiju, he can start g- doing stuff. Okay. So I'll do however many turns of movement that'll take. Okay. It'll probably are you are you dashing or are you just moving? Yeah, I'm gonna move twice and then boost. So, okay. Three, so total of like eighty feet of movement. Okay. That's crazy. That you could move as much as they could fly. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> I have to use all I have to use action action and bonus action, so it's kind of <laughs> That's absolutely insane to me. I love it. I absolutely love it. So, you, you know, run towards the front of the ship. Um, and that brings us to once. Mm. What? You, you've now seen him cut the line and the ship moving. You've seen the kaiju off to the side of the ship. And the chaos that it's causing, you now know the direction it is. And uh, what are you going to do? I'm going to do... I'm going to get ready here with uh, getting some of my arrows for my crossbow bow so I can start loading them up. In, okay. Or at least, you know, one at a, I guess with a crossbow, it's one at a time there. It is. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to dip... I'm going to open up one of the vials that is attached to my chest and dip the uh, arrowhead into the vial. Okay. So you're you're using a poison or a magical effect? Um, Basically, uh, poison, you'll get to use 10 ammunition for your shots. Magical effect's going to be on that one arrow that you're firing. Yeah, I'm going to do a poison. Okay. All right. So, so see the gnome plant her foot, dip the bolt, and slide crank it into place. I love it. Um, that brings us to the kaiju. Which, uh, breaches the water not far from the ship and attacks another ship about 300 feet out from you all. And just, again, mouth grabs the ship, spit, and another ship goes down. As this thing just absolutely tears to pieces. Another ship. This is bad. What's up, TJ Shark? Welcome to the game. We are currently in battle against a giant kaiju that they have not gotten a very good view of yet because it is underwater. (laughs) I know it's got a big mouth. And... The eye is the size of my dragon. (laughs) Yeah, that that's where we're at. And I mean, for for background sense, this thing is so big that the water is just ships are getting capsized, waves are going up on shore, like it it's absolute pandemonium at this point. Ships are getting so, straight up swallowed. That's where we're at. Yeah. So. Um. I'm going to throw in this. I'll use that later. So. Well, it's so, a secret tool that'll help us later. Secret tool to kill their players. <laughs> we don't know if it's gonna help us though. Let's just hope. Yeah, it probably won't. TJ Shark, yeah, yeah. I got something to tell you. It'll help Wolf to kill us. That's what. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be helpful to someone. Maybe not us, but someone. What do you gotta tell me? 
We're gonna die, we're gonna die, we are gonna die. That's my little song. Yes! You got the touch. Beautiful. Thank you, TJ, for the Prime subscription. What did, what did TJ do? Good, good job, TJ. <laughs> Prime subscription. Hey! TJ Shark got affiliated! Hell yeah! That, well, congratulations. That is a slog, sir. Thank you. Nice. And well done. I love it. He has been he has been trying to do that for a hot minute. I'm excited for him. Awesome, man. Congrats. Congratulations and thank Get you for the some wolf, wolf howls in the chat. Wolf howls in the chat, everybody. <laughs> howls in the chat. Howls in the chat. There we go. <laughs> All right, remote. We got it. That was amazing. <laughs> All right. All right, now help us kill this kaiju. Yep. <laughs> Hop on in. It's time to kill. <laughs> Dude, I love it. That also gave you an immediate 500 forest coins. So well done, sir. Ta da! Surprise. Yep. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> you need more than that to do anything crazy. <laughs> you say that now. Oh, we'll run that All real right. quick. Quick raffle if anybody wants to type explanation point and join. You've been waiting to tell me for like a week, dude. That's hilarious. <laughs> he wanted to tell me live. I love it. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. <laughs> nice. Oh, man. Uh. All right. So, Kaiju's done its attack. We're back to the Wyvern. It is me. That is you. Um, okay, so, when it just, you know, pretty much swallowed the whole ship, uh, did it get any, did it move at all, get any closer? Uh, it had moved another 100 feet. Deep. So... So I probably what about two hundred feet from me right now? From you, it's about two hundred and twenty. You are still in motion, so you're gonna need to choose to you know forward, up, down, uh, that kind of thing. I'm bas I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep dashing towards. Okay. That. So That's another eighty feet. So you're you went at eighty feet, um, and feet last round. And you're at a hundred feet, so you're a hundred feet above the water, and did eighty feet of movement. That puts you about a hundred and twenty away. So twenty away. Yeah. Okay. Um. It's gonna it's gonna have a turn before you though. So. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just gonna yeah just keep dashing towards that flying and then wait till I get closer. Okay. That'll that'll be my turn. Um, before we go into the next turn, um, babe, are you cooking something? Oh, okay. I'm like, what's that smell? What's she cooking <laughs> us? I have no idea what she's cooking. What are you making, babe? Hey guys, I won. I I won the raffle. Hey. What? <laughs> oh, she's making poppers. <laughs> You're a wiener. Zeus won five thousand Boris coins. <laughs> I, I would like to uh, use these coins. Don't to, you to let us win the game? <laughs> That's not enough points. Like That's not enough points. Not nearly <laughs> enough points. <laughs> All right, so we'll, we'll we'll start saving up. We'll bank. We'll bank up. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. We so we're gonna flip five light side points to just win. Just win. <laughs> just win the game. The just, the, just the, the funny game. thing is, I actually think that this Sophie's dice has the thirty bits. Thank you, Wait. TJ. Oh, nice. Ding, oh, ding, very ding, nice. Ding, thank ding. you. Yeah, it's raining bits in the cup. Yay! Oh, oh that's super happy. exciting. It's Bitmus. It actually has the Star Wars. A very thing. special Bitmus. Yeah, they actually do have like the Star Wars faces and the. Um, oh, that's dope. 
and oh. the Genesis dice for this. So I could build an entire set of Genesis dice for Ooh, this. I'd, yeah. That's super exciting. Thank you for the bits. Yeah, the bits, though, they're really cool. Thank you. <laughs> um, so the bonus roll, nothing happened. Moving on. Um, that right. brings us to oh. to Dizzy. So you've now I... reached basically reached the front of the ship. So yep. I I move with the ship. Uh, the ship. I, this is the part where I'm regretting changing what dragonborn I am. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be a gem dragonborn, so I'd have wings. But <laughs> you made a choice. <laughs> yeah, man. Nothing. You're still on the ship. Just get yourself uh, some mm. wings like me. I want it. Where's the Red Bull? Holy the crap! Red Bull? TJ, you Bull? just got affiliate. Calm yourself. 41 bits, sir. Hi, sir. TJ. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All, All right. right. TJ. Yes. Nice. TJ's got his own emotes. Is that your is that your hype shark emote? That's amazing. Hype shark. Please spam that so I can see it all over my screen. Yeah, yeah, let's see hype shark. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Yeah, I, I have to move with the ship because I can't. Yeah, no, you're fine. Oh, them wings um... don't fly anymore. Whoops. I mean, now that the ship is moving, like, we are, like, this This is, like, a bay marina, so. 100 bits! Jeez, dude! Okay. Wow! <laughs> said no. <laughs> just, dude, what is this? Look at that down. shark. He's got a flexing. He's just know. straight flexing with that shark. Mm -hmm. That is... No, that... Oh, he's straight up flexing. All right. Oh yeah, that is straight up a flex. The um, so this is kind of a marina thing. So like, as we're passing stuff, if you wanted to pull, you know, your TV show type, like jump from dock to dock, that's I, up I'm to you. Too. Or if you would rather I'm stay with this show, <laughs> I would go full on Spider Man if anything. Hi, if, I could, if, there's, if there's enough stuff between here. And the kaiju that would get me to the kaiju faster. It is still underwater, yeah, so yeah, don't so really. Just... Uh, if anything, uh, can I hold one of my actions? Yes, you can. Okay, I'm gonna do that then. Cool. So if it comes across, I'm gonna do the thing. Nice. All right. So that brings us to once. The ship, let's say the ship has moved probably about 30. The ships don't move very quickly once they get started, so it's only moved maybe 30 or 40 feet closer. Holy crap! 2,000 bits! Holy shit! <laughs> Just coming Damn. in and taking... Holy crap, second place in the all-time pit drop. Wow. He is seriously wow. flexing, y'all. Somebody, no, somebody dude, is out to challenge this man. Dude just got affiliated. He absolutely should. <laughs> oh man! Please use your, please use your rave emote. <laughs> okay, I'm done. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, you're done. Thank you so much, but you're done. <laughs> you flexed. You've proven your point. <laughs> Oh man. That was way too fast for me to read his sign. Anyway, he'll be right back, I assume. So um Alright. So uh once what would you like to do? So the kaiju is still underwater, correct? We, the kaiju, you have a general idea 
uh, where general idea of, of where, where it is, but it's still from where you are on the ship. It's still probably it's still about three three hundred feet out. So. I can't. So you could I'm... do the same thing that Dizzy is doing, and yeah, could I'll, ready. I'll hold an action. Yeah. So. Yeah, because right now there's not much until until the Mister Kaiju pops his head out. This there's thing's not much, gonna you know? get just blasted as soon as you guys show up. Oh man! All right, so that brings us to to the Kaiju. There you go. Low numbers, low numbers. Low, low rolls, low rolls. Oh, come on. <laughs> um, Zeus, what is your AC? Oh, what? Jesus. Oh. Uh, uh, mine? Uh, 17. Well, 17? Uh, wait, for me or for Jasmine? Well, you're on Jasmine, so it's kind of... It's Jasmine, uh, yeah. Mine is 17, Jasmine's is 15. Okay. Okay. You guys are going to get to see this kaiju. Oh, <laughs> oh I feel like I'm about to be eaten. You're not going to be eaten. Um, it's going to be like a Jurassic World style. When yes, the, uh, this is Mosasaurus essentially comes out. Yeah, that that is wow. essentially what is happening. Um, so, I mean, you guys were going to get to see it regardless, but yeah. Um, so you do not get swallowed, um, but you do get clipped. Um, so, um, the, the waters ripple as you're flying towards the last place you saw the kaiju, um, and underneath you, <laughs> mouth and jaws, and any of you seeing this as this comes up, you can't see what the whole thing looks like because all you see is this gaping maw open underneath you as absolutely the largest crocodile in existence breaches from the oak, from the bay. Um, this thing isn't even jumping to do this motion. It is legitimately just standing up on the bottom of the bay and reaching out with its jaws to grab you. <laughs> oh. 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 Um, it does not grab you, but it does clip. It does clip jazz, and we're gonna right. roll. Uh, how far? How far away is this thing? Um, at this moment, you guys were flying. He had flown a hundred and sixty feet because you had done two eighties, right? Okay, yeah, I'm not. I have nowhere. Hmm. Yeah. So, um, but the ship had moved a little bit closer the last time. I had said about like forty feet. So you guys are more like 120 feet away when this happens. Still not close enough to do the thing. Okay. So um it is close enough, I believe, if does your crossbow have disadvantage at 120 once? That's a great question. You take three damage plus seven. Ten jazz damage. Jazz takes um ten damage. I am going to use share pain, so Jazz will take five and I will take five. Okay. 
Um, what kind of crossfit do you have, Laura? Uh, I, I was looking at the, cause, okay, let me ask, were we with the crossbows and like the weapons and stuff? It's in the market, right? Yeah, like, on it's, the, on the it's Discord? still in the Discord market. Okay. I think you did the hand crossbow. Cause you did, or did you do the light crossbow? That's what I'm trying to remember. I'm looking at over. The, the hand, the light crossbow has a max range of three twenty. I think you did a hand crossbow, because. Yeah, so that's a uh, disadvantage of one at one twenty. One twenty, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I think I did the hand crossbow if I remember right. So it has disadvantage at 120. So if you would like to, was your action to fire your crossbow? Yeah, that's what I wanted to do if we were in that field where I could make a shot, you know? So you can make a shot at disadvantage. Let's go. I'll, I'll I'll shoot the shot. I'll shoot my shot, man. Okay, so we'll pick you up. Whee! And we'll grab this one. Okay, so nine plus your attack bonus. Oh, for Dex. Uh, so plus one. So. Ten. No. Uh, are, you, are you proficient with a crossbow? It should be. She should have pro pro hand crossbow proficiencies. That's one of the reasons I recommended it. Well, then it would be plus four instead of plus one. Don't know if that changes anything or not. <laughs> so she gets plus four with the proficiency? Yeah, because uh, if you're proficient with the weapon, you get you add your proficiency bonus, which at level five it's plus three. Three. Oh, then yeah, plus, so four. plus four. Okay, you're right. Still doesn't oh, hit, but <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> got to roll higher than a thirteen. <laughs> we know we gotta roll higher than thirteen. So. I swear to God, if it's hit, oh my God, if it's ugh. all right. So yeah, all right. So I guess shot. Missed. All right. Just and watch the arrow. Whiz. So that was the kaiju. You did your held action. Mm -hmm. And uh, so that brings us to Zeus. Giant monster just came out of the water and tried to hit you and eat you. Okay. So. Uh... No, I imagine pretty close to me then, huh? Uh, so actually, because of the way D and D combat works, it essentially did a hundred foot movement straight up to stand, essentially. So it's literally like in hang time beside you. So you could do that. Like it didn't immediately go back down. So, okay. um, yeah, I'm going to um. Sorry, uh, wait, how far did you say it was from me? From you, it's like 10 feet. <laughs> okay. Or less. I mean, you literally just got knocked by it. So, like... Alright, so I am going to, yeah, basically fly towards it, and I'm going to have Jasmine, um, attack. Okay. Uh, uh she can actually, uh... Attack twice. She got multi attack once. With okay. Bite once with her tail stinger. We're gonna go twice. Do some some bites and some stabs. So that's an eighteen for the first oh, so attack. Be... Okay, good. Shit, twenty for the second attack. Nice. <laughs> All right. All right so... so Jazz gets the first nat twenty to six. <laughs> This, I've this that twenty three times now. Um, oh, okay, so that eighteen. It always is. Twenty four. Uh, I'm waiting for for Matt to pop back up in the chat and go. Do I hear some crow rolls? <laughs> hey, is he hey, still hey, hiding in there? Wolf is rolling these for me, not me. 
I didn't cheat or change anything. Oh, jeez. It's someone the, can someone clip this because it's like holy shit, it's, it's <laughs> freaking it's high rolls. Dice. It's the loaded dice feature that you know. I turned it off. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that'll be a oh. twenty, and a the other one will be a twenty-four to hit. Okay. Um. So the the twenty-four does hit. And of course your 20 hits, because we're doing that. So And both of them are uh is one D six. One D six? Okay. Yeah, um so we're doing for crit, uh where you are we doing where you like you roll twice or you roll once and then double the dice? Hmm. I think we're gonna do double dice. So right. okay. Um so I guess roll them separately so we know which one to double. Yeah. So this is your first attack. The, the eighteen. Yep. One. All right. So that is a a four. Four. <laughs> and that. All right. Give me a six. Five. Ah, uh, close. Uh, so that is ten. Huh? Be five double dots of ten and plus three, so thirteen. Thirteen. A total of seventeen damage. Seventeen damage. Nice, nice, All nice. right. So she did a bite and a stab. You know, yeah, with the tail stinger. Gotcha. So after getting knocked to the side, Jasmine just bites onto the bottom of its jaw and swings that tail around and just stabs it into the side of its of the throat, like right here, because you know, crocodile, it's a long you know, soft under throat thing. So she she does a nice hit there. And uh she was right. not so. she was not thrilled at the idea of getting Just, chomped. Uh, poked a bear with a stick guy. So mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and then, um real did you get another right. thing? D I'm gonna say um can I I guess basically like because I'm flying I'm kinda kinda gonna carry on and keep moving away from the mouth if I can. Yeah, so essentially what she did was like um, so, like, she, after getting hit, just bit down real quick, stabbed with her tail, and is kind of kicking away. Um, in a normal combat situation, this would be an attack of opportunity if you are leaving the combat range. Um, but this creature is essentially in free fall from fighting. So, nothing happens if you're going to continue to fly. So yeah, I'm just gonna kind of continue to keep flying. Yep. So not a problem. And that will be my turn, I think. Excellent. So let's see. Nope. All right. Does he... got it. Oh. So the ship is moving again. Let's. We're picking up speed. It just saw the kaiju. And kind of adjust it a little bit. Um, but you guys are now within, uh, let's say, about 60 feet of this kaiju as it's, okay. it's coming down. Because combat is accelerated in D&D, &D, as those of you who may not know. It is accelerated, so things are happening quickly. Um, so the kaiju from your character's perspective is still up in the air from attacking Zeus. And so it has not come all the way down into the water yet. So. What does Dizzy want to do? Uh, Dizzy wants to hurry this ship the up. <laughs> I am not close enough to do it. Sail faster. But just sail faster, can we? The, how much range? How much what range would you need? Uh I mean, my cables can only go twenty feet. Okay. So if I can be in at least thirty feet, I can do something. Not with the cables. Don't worry about it. Do you want to do something fun? Uh, is that a question? <laughs> fun, fun. I'm always down to do something fun. Um, 
let's let's give you something fun to do. Um, okay. I'm going to roll a <laughs> perception for you. Crap. Well, maybe we'll see. It won't be terrible. You say that. <laughs> and then he rolls a five. <laughs> What's your perception bonus? Zero. Zero. <laughs> If it wasn't for the fact that artifice that I gave it as a, uh, mm -hmm. a proficiency, it would be a negative three. Okay. <laughs> so, but it is a zero, so okay. it's just a flat five. Um. Let's do something fun. It won't be that bad. Rolls a five. I know. No, it's still interesting. Okay, so. Yeah, I know what I'm going to do, if you're up for it. I, I'm mm -hmm. down. Let's do this. Ice. Whoa. Oh. That, oh. Whoa, there's more dice. I'm seeing. Uh, oh, he's, getting rid of our, he's getting rid of our dice. He's getting rid of our dice. What is? Hi, dice. That's, that's, that's <laughs> a lot of dice. Mm -hmm. Wolf, Wolf, what are you doing? So. <laughs> OK. So what's your athletics bonus? Plus, uh, plus four. Plus four? So that changes this. If this is plus four for each of these dice, that's five, that's 20. Right? Five, ten, or four, eight. So you, uh, uh, seven, ten, 19, 19, 19, 19. Plus 20. So... Yeah. That would bring you to 74 for a quick time event oh. across using your cables across the bay of like broken ship posts and uh, piers to spend a bonus action to attack. <laughs> <laughs> I look. I'm here for some. That that is that's cool. All right. So I'll I'll tell you how it begins, and you tell me the rest of okay. it. So okay. you see this thing shoot up, almost hit him. You see that like quick attack get in, and Zeus peels away, and you run the um the, the, the what's what's it called the bow line up to the the mast. What's yeah. the, all the way out the front of the ship? You literally just run straight up that piece of wood and just oh. leap off. Like, you just take off and go. Okay. And that begins yeah. your, like, rapid quick time through chaos. <laughs> so, like, basically, can we say, like, we're imagining on ta Attack Titan kind of, like, with the... Oh, yes, the that, like, this is full-on, like... Okay. Okay. He just launched himself into space in front of the ship, and there are yeah, grapple kind of points through ship wreckage and like pieces of docking and stuff like that. So, except he has to like the uh, the wires are attached to his arms, so so it's like it it looks a little more like Spider. It's like Spider Man, but with Attack on Titan's maneuver gear. Okay. All right. Yeah, the 3D maneuver gear. I like it. I like it. That's cool. That's pretty badass. That's basically what this character does. All right. So, uh, can we make an important note for this character though? He's doing this wearing plate armor. This is not graceful swinging. It is absolute rage war. Just like shoot. It's, it's, it's splint armor. To be fair, it's not full on plate. It's still yet. heavy. <laughs> I couldn't afford plates, so... So how heavy is this armor? It's still heavy-duty armor. Uh, so yeah. It's, it, let me, yeah, it's still pretty. Uh, let me look at... It's a yes. It's a the yes. answer to that is uh, yes. Is it yes. <laughs> yes. It's, 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 it's chonky. Oh, man. Chonk. I got an 18 Chichonk. strength. That's fine. You got what? Uh, I've got an 18 strength. That's fine. <laughs> I just brute force and ignorance. That that is this character's motto: brute force and ignorance. <laughs> so, essentially, sixty pounds of armor. Holy crap! 
<laughs> not including your like what 200 pounds of body yeah. weight <laughs> not including how heavy he is not including anything else all the extra gear he has just nope that's just 60 pounds of armor oh jeez. so yeah he's it's it's not graceful it doesn't look like spider-man nimbly dodging through he probably crashes through a couple of <laughs> loose boards you onto... pull yourself to a piece of board and you just punch right through it before you launch your Basically, next one <laughs> He just like straight headbutts through it because he's he's very hard headed and very dim witted. He just does not um, care. He he he, almost like his tongue's hanging out the side of his face. He wants this kaiju. Yeah. So so uh, what kind of attack? Uh, just regular weapon attack with a bonus attack, or yeah, anything you might have. Oh, anything. Want... All right, cool. So, I mean, uh, it, bonus bonus attack. Like I figure it's just an attack, whatever you got. So. Look, if I okay, so I'll just do. Uh, I'll keep it simple. I'll just do a regular uh, weapon attack. Okay. I'll save the the other stuff for. I'll save the breath attack for later. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, Sixteen a, plus your attack. 20, uh, Twenty-three to hit. Barely. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? He oh. hit with a twenty-four. <laughs> I know, but it's like, oof. <laughs> All right, it's right there. So, yeah, so barely. That's, 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 a, gonna do. that's a D four. D four damage. Yeah, D four bludgeoning. As long as I'm within twenty feet, I'm fine. Three. All right, so that's three. Uh, let me. Sorry, that's going to be uh, da, 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 da. uh, seven damage total. Seven damage total. All right, perfect. Um, so it's like, what was the to... weapon? Did you punch or was it? No, I, I used my cable. Gotcha. So you... I've got I've got a cable on each arm. So as like I imagine he he caught on a good spot, had the other cable still out and use the momentum to just whip it around mm -hmm. and uh, hit the kaiju from max from as far away as he could. Gotcha. So the part that you ended up stopping on, because with yours, you have to be hanging from something or connected to mm -hmm. something with your cables, is actually a piece of debt of dock that was like ripped up when it came up out of the water and is like peeled up to the side and you're hanging from the underside of it. That, that's so. right. That was fun. All quick right. I'm, I'm here for quick time events. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that brings us to once. Hi. What would you like to do? So, okay. So where at this point is the Kaiju in comparison to Moxie? Um, like so Moxie just saw... Um, Kish go zipping across through a bunch of stuff to land an attack. At this point, you're about... You were standing in the middle of the ship, though. And you haven't, yeah. really, you haven't really moved. So you're still about... Including distance across the ship, probably about 100 feet away. So, okay. Because the front of the ship was in that direction like this facing is... towards the towards the kaiju right it was basically kind of charging the kaiju until it burst out of the water and now it's compensating for the kaiju because it's like well we don't want to crash into the kaiju so full speed ahead nope just full speed <laughs> okay okay um all right so moxie is Gonna get another bottle from her utility belt. Okay. Um, when she pulls out the bottle, it the inside of the bottle looks like it's containing lightning. Nice. Um, she pops it open, chugs it down. <laughs> um, and with that, that would give her guiding bolt. Nice. Nice. And that's a D twenty attack. Uh, or ranged, or is it? Is uh, does the kaiju have to dodge? 
That's what I'm trying to read on the... Make a ranged spell attack against okay. the target. So... And then on a hit, on a hit, the target takes four uh, d six radiant damage. What would your spell attack bonus be? What would that be under? That that's actually a legitimate question, though. What would that be under? Uh, you are playing the alchemist. <laughs> You sent those to me. Pull it up real quick. Because I gotta remember what your. Because it's not dexterity, I don't think. Reading rapidly. Starting bolt. I'm trying to Okay. Intelligence is your spellcasting ability for your elixirs. Oh right, right, right. For the spell DC. Your spellcasting modifier is your proficiency bonus plus your intelligence modifier. So that's a three plus whatever your intelligence modifier is. Uh, which is also a three. Okay, so that's plus six. So that's an eighteen. Yeah. So that's an eighteen. That does not hit. What? Ow. Ow. Yeah. Ow. Yeah. Remember, twenty three. He barely hit. <laughs> oh, you're right. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Oh. I'll be here all night, guys. <laughs> all right, here we go. There are other things happening in the background. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, jeez. Um, Imagine Godzilla kind of like basically like just a freaking beam. Oh. Well, let's also point. I will also point out that like the the rolls early went a little differently than I had planned. I had this in mind, but like the 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 creature attacking right at the beginning, I was like, hmm, hopefully I'll have time to build up. But no. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. I'm enjoying this. Alright. So are there any other effects for like half damage or anything like that with that, or does it have to land to do anything for that spell? I skimmed that spell. I didn't read it. Mm. Hold on. Oh, because that means I have to hold on. Hold on. Oh, here, I'll just pull it up. There you go. I just want to make sure. I don't normally play magical abilities. Okay, so it doesn't have anything for a miss. All right. And that answers our question. So that brings us to Zikaiju. Um, so the kaiju, still being in the air, comes down beside the ship. Um, and another wave happens. Uh, once, what is your dexterity modifier? Um, my dex modifier 
is plus one. Plus one? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's make a... And your agility. Your My acrobatics. Own. Your acrobatics, I would say. Uh, plus, <laughs> plus four. Okay, plus four. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah. You do not get knocked over by the ship getting hit with another one. You good. And the kaiju... Uh... Disappears. Hello. <laughs> Everybody's got a cat. Cat, cat, cat. cat, cat. Uh, I don't have a cat. Oh, yeah, okay. we should send you a cat. Oh, <laughs> you know, I will accept right, if anyone guys, wants to send gonna, me a rag. <laughs> this, this is how we're gonna stream. Cat on the back. Got it. Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, and cats and computers. Oh my. Does anyone have a passive perception over? <laughs> 17. Sorry. Absolutely not. What, what is a passive I don't perception? even think that's possible at our uh, level. I, level. I'm just confirming. Like, unless you Absolutely straight not. cap. I don't think even if you cap your wisdom modifier. Wait, wait. Okay. So with perception. Well, there's okay, with my... perception and passive perception. So. Yeah. Oh. So like perception checks would be one thing, but then like your passive perception, yeah, my passive perception is a ten. Okay. So the the kaiju goes oh. back underwater, and you've lost track of where it is. Oh great. <laughs> uh, it essentially took the hide action. Because <laughs> it can go underwater. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's underwater. Command, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, go underwater. That's fine. Go underwater. Underwater. Uh... Fine. Oh. Now we're gonna Uno reverse it. We'll be like I just remembered something. <laughs> hmm. Dizzy, what's your uh athletics? Not good enough. <laughs> Whatever it is, it doesn't matter. You're now swimming. <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, You're in the gonna, water. <laughs> that that's that's gonna suck. Okay. Uh okay. Do you have a swim speed? <laughs> it's normal. It, it didn't swim speed like half your movement speed. Yeah. I mean granted he can like pull himself out of water with the cables, yeah, but wire weavers are dumb. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, for, so I, I'm in Yeah, in the now. drink. <laughs> I, I, oh, so this is what they meant. <laughs> uh, uh, All right. Um, so that makes it um, Zeus. It is your turn. Um, it went, on, it went underwater. Um, you, I mean, granted, it did go underwater. It's closer to the ship now. Um. You could actively roll for a perception to look for it. Um, if you wanted to, that use an action? it would. It would be an active. Hmm. Are you gonna do that or? All right, you're 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 cutting out. What? Sorry. Are you going to use your action to try to find it or? Am I cutting out that badly? Yeah. No, right now, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We heard. Are you going to use your? Use your. And yeah. Uh, and. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Are you going to? Do you want to make a perception check? Will that use my action? Yes. Then. Okay. 
said uh, I did kind of see it heading in the general direction of the ship. You, the last place that you saw it was in the in the area of the ship. Uh, I'm going to just kind of fly that way, my my regular movement speed. Okay. And I will ready an action if I see it pop back up again. Perfect. All right. Final freakingly, uh, this whole time a um wizard has been preparing a ritual spell on the shore, and he completes it, and a column of light shoots up from his position, and a giant water elemental rises up out of the water and begins with that and the way this water elemental works is like it doesn't disperse you know it doesn't have weight to disperse the water so no waves or anything happen as it rises mm -hmm. and everything like that mm -hmm. um and it freely moves through the water as though with no hindrance um and begins moving towards where the kaiju was as well so you guys now have an ally we have a kaiju sized ally mm -hmm. hey. so that's what that blue die is i okay. accidentally did that that doesn't affect anything uh i, I like that role though for me uh, so i, I like it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. whatever mine is and take whatever that red one is for the kaiju that, that, that's yeah, yeah. Mike, we, we'll let you know. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. We'll allow it. Okay. We'll allow it. Yeah, the blue dice no, is no. now that it has happened is your assistance die. Yes, we'll just... If it mm -hmm. if it rolls high enough, you guys get battle assistance. So cool. Um. So dizzy, top of the initiative. All right. So step one, I'm going to use my bonus action to use my cables to get out of the water. Okay. Try to grapple onto the nearest basically get back to where i was okay yeah you you basically just like plopped into the water floated back up and just zipped yeah. back to where you were hanging before so. yeah so i use my bonus action to zip back up there um and then i'll i'm gonna use an action to look around and then i'll hold my other action okay um you look around the ship is kind of coming closer to where you are um it's probably 30, 30, 40 feet away. So you could get back to the ship if you wanted to do some risky uh, maneuvers. If I'd have, if, no, I'm going to, I'm not going to quick time again. Okay. I'll, I'll hold my other action. Okay. All right. Once. What would you like to do? Let's see. So we have no idea right now still where the kaiju is. You know it's underwater. Well, oh, that we do. That we do. Plus one for us. Mm -hmm. uh, Moxie's going to probably load up another, uh, dip another arrow into poison and okay. load it into her crossbow. I like it. And then uh, maybe for move movement, move more towards. So I'm trying to remember where she's at at the moment. I think she says, kind of just make sure that she's moved to maybe the more of the front of the ship. Yeah. So you yeah. can be there, no problem. Yeah, that that's it. That's it for me. <laughs> All right, let's do. We. Mm. Uh oh.
to be fair, with all this going on, the kaiju specifically has not become, like, specifically aware of you all yet. Like, it's battling and doing stuff and everything like that, but it is not specifically aware of you. Yeah, we don't want it to took a snap that. at you, but that's because it saw a giant flying thing above it, above the water. <laughs> you look, food! <laughs> it wasn't specifically at you, it just saw flying food. <laughs> just, ooh, shiny snack! Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Mm -hmm. This guy uh, has ADD confirmed. I mean, the way it travels around. Uh... <laughs> yeah, it, uh... It continues to remain hidden. So. Zeus. Alright. Well, I guess this time I will make a perception check to see if I see the thing. Okay. Nice result. What is your... Uh, what is your plus? It's 14. Uh, plus 3. Plus so 3. 17. If you're looking for a character that's doing stealth... Would be my perception versus their stealth roll. Stealth roll. Which is what I what I just rolled. You did not see them. Fair enough. Did not see them. Uh, in that case, I will kind of just circle around, like just keep flying to where I'm like near the ship, and just kind of like circle around over top of the uh, the ship. So that'll be it. Sounds good. And that'll bring us back up to Dizzy. Well, or since guys, we... maybe it's retreating. <laughs> I it's, why. It is scared. Absolutely is it terrified. Is it's it very scared? scared. It's an ambush predator. It's terrified. Sure. Yep. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we won. In the end, we won. No biggie. Uh. <sighs> I guess I'll quick time back to the ship. <laughs> like, just get... get back I mean, uh, I can't see the... coming back uh, oh. while we're talking about that. Mm -hmm. Like, you're kind of close enough at this point that you don't really need to quick time back to the ship. Okay. You can just, you know, two cable zips and, and you're kind of there. One. You only get one? Yeah, it's used, it's my bonus action. It's only 20 feet. So twenty feet. Uh, I'm gonna use athletics to jump. Yep. So you could zip to a thing and then. I'm back in the drink. <laughs> What's your plus? Four. Four. Oof. Yeah, but like you're close enough that like you like land in the water and you're like. <laughs> the ship is passing. <laughs> so on your next turn, you could swim to and grab the ship. <laughs> You're close enough to do that. So, unless that used up all your all your no, it's, movement. It, it's a bonus action and then a, a move action. I still have an action. Okay. What would you like your action to be? Uh, just. Have? I'll hold it. Okay. He's just indignant that he missed. He's just like, I'll use the next <laughs> so, one to so rude. <laughs> just like, oh, gravity, how dare. Uh, all right, once. How very dare. How very dare. Very dare there. You guys very can, dare. like, there is chaos and noise happening around, but you guys can, like, yell at each other yeah. and be able to hear. So if you have any characters suggestions that want to yell at each other you can so hint hint oh <laughs> i think he wants us to have character interaction no i'm fine with you having character interaction you guys talked about doing something you haven't done it yet well, yeah, to be fair, we don't really know each other yet. So. This is also yeah. true. Yeah, I will I will 100% like that's true. You guys didn't even get to get to know each other. So, 
This is all yeah, like we instantly into, which I love. Fight, you know, this is what I'm loving it though because like you guys are like we're just gonna go do our own thing, and I'm like you guys are actually I know what acting. You're talking about. I love but, it. Yeah, no. I also love it because you guys are genuinely like we don't know each other. We're just gonna do our own thing, and I'm like, good, good. No meta gaming. <laughs> we're just ready to hunt this kaiju. That we're all really excited to hunt this thing for one reason or another. Yep, yep. <laughs> to be fair, we can only do so much when he's hiding underwater. Yeah, this is yeah. also true. So we got to think of a way to get him out of the water, or at least back up. Well, I'm a little too close to the ship. Otherwise, I would just. Mm, hang on, I do. Advantage of the fact that I did change my Dragonborn race, but you know. And kicking yourself for that was, that was your choice. That was my choice, but it has a different advantage right now. It does. Mm. So. You just gotta keep your action ready. Yeah. Once I'm just gonna keep yours. If it, okay. If it passes, if it passes anywhere near me, I'm just gonna do it. Okay. Um, once, what did you, what would you like to do? You're at the front of the this. ship, so you could you could try to do perception or something like that. Yeah, uh, let me uh, let me roll for perception just to see if I can see just anything since I'm at the front of the ship in any direction. What's your perception bonus? Oh, I get to take a look here. Oh, perception. So plus, I don't plus think five. it's gonna plus five. You... Uh, it doesn't do it. So. Sophia, why do you hate us so much? <laughs> <laughs> these dice these dice are rough man RNGs mm -hmm. give it RNGs take it away take it away <laughs> Oof. anything else you want to do well I can't see anything so I think it's I gotta do some blind maneuvering here I I guess this would be more of an action since, I mean, the, mm -hmm. since I did the perception, that was my action. So I guess I'm going to wait for my next turn. Okay, I'm going to... That's good for me. Okay. That's good for me right now. All right. The kaiju attempts to attack the water elemental. Hmm. Um... Yes. Please expose yourself. Please come up within 30 feet of me. Please. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not exactly because really? it's now moved. Like, mm. the water elemental came from, like, further up in the battle. And so, this, it, it kind of shows up about another, I'd say, 100 feet away and starts battling with the elemental. Um, so... Uh, you see the head snapping up and the elemental, like, grappling with it and trying to, like, wrestle it. And they're basically in a stalemate of combat. So. But you guys can see it now. It's about 100 feet away. So. Only. Only 100 feet. <laughs> this thing's mobile. Mm -hmm. It's huge. It doesn't have to move very far. <laughs> I, okay, but still, it's mobile. All right, Zeus. Do you like really to set us up big here with a big old kaiju first off the bat? Oh heck yeah! So it's about a hundred feet away. About a hundred feet away. Um... Well, it's a hundred feet away from the ship where Dizzy was because he was oh, specifically yeah. asking. Um, it's a hundred feet away from the ship where Dizzy is in the water. Um, How far is it from where I am? From you, I would say at a diagonal from where you are, because it's now down at the water level. I'd say it's probably about... 90 to 100. Yeah, same distance. 90 to 100. Okay. Because you didn't really come down from your flying height. Yeah, um... 
I'm gonna start flying back towards it, but yeah, yeah, I am gonna come down a little bit, so I'm only I won't be quite as high. Okay. I was How? A hundred feet before. Yeah, you were kind of staying at around a hundred. So. so I'm gonna drop down to where I'm about about fifty feet high. Okay, that's a good call. So. Um, because I'm I'll be dashing again. That'll be my turn. Gotcha. So you went closer and down. No. Okay. So that puts you within about twenty-ish feet. Go so water elemental. Make us proud. <laughs> okay, do not make us proud. No, <laughs> make us proud. No. It's not a D twenty. It's it's for something else. So it's not really the water elemental. Okay. Um. But yeah, so the water elemental is is definitely grappling with the kaiju. Um, other units around are starting to actually kind of mobilize and form together. You're starting to see volleys of arrows going and then trying to hit the kaiju. The rest of the battle is ramping up for other units battling. So, including your ship. The captain has gotten everybody under control and... Um, he calls you hear his ringing voice call for fire and as arrows uh actually as you kind of begin your dive zeus the arrows go uh, underneath you at an arc out towards them and so you were not in the line of fire <laughs> nice but Largely, you guys get the sense that, like, yeah, the the it's getting hit with arrows, but it doesn't really like, eh. you know, mm -hmm. nothing special is happening with our little grunt arrows. So uh, we're back up to dizzy. You're floating in the water about five feet from the ship. <laughs> uh, about how far away? About five. You you were like you were literally like right there. You were like, I can reach out all my right, arm. So, and... <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use bonus action to boost up, and then use an action to climb up the rest of the way. Okay. I'm on the deck of the ship. Um, water dripping from you as you pull yourself over the railing. Very not happy. Oh, he's pissed. Angry dragonborn. Um, angry dragonborn. <laughs> Um, and he's going to turn towards where the kaiju is. Actually, uh, once you're still on the ship, right? Yes. Yes, I am. Um, I'm gonna You know what? I've got nothing else to do, so I'm gonna uh if I would have enough movement to get up this ship and towards where Moxie is. Oh Um, yeah, I would say so. Kind of in like a a casual like because you wouldn't be able to dash but you could like walk towards her at least and she's within yeah. hearing distance so yeah, as long as i can get within if i can get within touch distance i want to cast a spell oh sure yeah go ahead uh i got nothing else so i'm gonna cast uh, I'm going to cast Magic Weapon on your crossbow. Uh, is... Mm. Okay. What, is, what so, does that look like? Like, So she has it like readied and is like aimed, like holding so it. So. As she's holding it out, he reaches like under. Well, it's a hand it. crossbow, so it's like this. Like, it's more like a pistol. Most hand yeah. crossbows are like... So he like reaches and like touches the back of it away from the arrow. Mm-hmm. 
and the arcane energy moves down his hands and like infusing like lighting up through the armor uh you now get a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls and it is a magic weapon for purposes of overcoming resistances <laughs> uh bless. lasts up to an hour holy crap as long as i maintain concentration thank you oh so okay. you have to so like okay but you have yeah. to maintain concentration okay yeah okay okay so, yeah, so plus one bonus to attack heaven thank you you see this arcane energy come down his arm he touches the back of your crossbow and the there's this faint uh is your crossbow made out of metal or wood uh wood wood okay good so you so, don't get, you don't feel like a jolt because uh, right yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. so so you feel like the wood like you. yeah you feel the wood heat up and there's this faint wood burning smell as as it kind of heats up and then you you have a bit like you are not arcane trained because the alchemists are not um but you can feel the change that has happened inside your weapon uh and you are aware that he made it more powerful so oh she loves that i just a mad cackle about it. <laughs> I love that you're just cackling as it powers up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So this is a good point where you've just powered up. The kaiju is battling the elemental. We're going to take a short break. Uh, give everybody a chance to get water to go to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and we're going to run a couple raffles if people want to try to get their points up. And the store is going to be open for uh, those of you viewing if you want to influence the rest of this game with boosts or make things interesting with the kaiju. Sorry, I let my, uh, my phone charge as long as I could, you know. You're good. Can you not have headphones plugged in and the phone charge at the same time? No, no, I can't. Gotta love technology. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Kevin, over here. I, I looked just, over just at the screen. Just shoving food in his mouth. <laughs> I looked on the stream and I just saw your head bobbing up and down and I just got some thoughts. Some thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, 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 what are you drinking there? Oh yeah. What are what are what is everybody drinking right now? What is what is our drink of choice? So I just finished sweet tea from McDonald's and now I have water. Uh some high quality A grade uh H2O for me. H2O, so we got two waters. Mm -hmm. I will be the third person on the water train. Oh. Hey, look at us, the hydration station. Choo -choo. So much water, I love it. Oh. Water and Arizona. Kevin, Energy are you drink. muted? He probably muted his uh, headset by accident. Son of a. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I'm he's been talking two stage to us. Mute. Damn it. <laughs> you know, I'm like watching. I'm watching your video, and I just see you like, like swinging around the water bottle and stuff. Uh, <laughs> and yes, I'm like, I'm, oh. I am also part of the hydration station. Hey, we're pulling into the hydration mm. station. Choo -choo. I don't want. I don't. I don't want Wolf to drag you to the nurse's <laughs> office anymore. God, mm. I only. I only had to do that once. I don't want to have to do it again. Yeah, because I never wanted to do that again. One hundred percent. All right. Oh. All right. So, we've been going for quite a while now. Um, we are probably all getting a little bit tired, but the way I'm operating these are one shots. So we're gonna have fun. We're gonna kick it up a notch. Oh, okay. So. 
we are picking up with you have just magically boosted if you guys are good to get started again let me make sure yeah. yep. okay yep. so uh dizzy has just magically boosted uh moxie's crossbow yep that's right and we are going into i can't remember where where we were um, initiative wise it was... it was moxie's turn i think the last thing we did was yeah okay. boosting the crossbow yeah. So yeah, we're going to pause on that, and oh, okay. as you guys are, you know, he's magically boosting. Um, you hear Captain Aldine go, "Help them out! They're the only ones competent of doing anything in here." It storms across the ship, <laughs> and a one of his wizards that was on the ship walks up and holding two feathers, holds them out, and they burn away, and you guys feel yourselves become weightless. And he just cast a high-level fly spell on you. And... <laughs> oh, that was wonderful. <laughs> Why did the settler thing not pop up? It played. The audio played, and it says you played it. Where is my sound release? That was amazing, by the way. You're welcome. I appreciate it. That was good. Why is we flying? You guys now have 60 fly speed. Um, are we butterflies in the sky? You are butterflies in the sky. We can go twice as high. Yeah. Uh, I think delivering can't go twice as high, but we just... Can we take a look? Because it's in a book. <gasps> I mean, it was a wizard who cast it, so maybe. <laughs> Wait, who's flying now? We're flying! <laughs> You're still faster. Wait, so, like, are we as individuals flying, or is the <laughs> ship flying? No, the wizard oh, cast oh. it. The wizard cast it okay. on... Because you guys were standing next to each other. Mm -hmm. He cast it on both of you. Okay. Nope, we are now an airship. Let's let's make this real interesting. Wouldn't it be cool though if it, he did it on the sh like cast it on the ship and then it, we could like we were like the cool. Jolly Roger kind of like would, after. Yeah, and then we just like fall off the kaiju. That's that's a lot. That's, that's, that's a lot, <laughs> that's a lot no. of. Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> All right, we don't need a whole bird. All right, gonna so test we'll <laughs> one. We need to find a feathered kaiju. Okay. We need to start snatching some feathers. <gasps> Moxie could make probably like potions and stuff to give us flight. So with that, that's cool. you, you could learn that stuff. Okay, learn that stuff. I'll cook us some kaiju wings. Maybe just so good. Ooh. Super loud. <laughs> that, that sounds delightful. Hey, we'll feed him to we'll feed him to Jasmine. She'll get a faster fly speed. That's how that works, right? You already have fly speed, so let's add to it so you're faster. <laughs> that's that's totally works. that's totally how it works. That's how it works. I've heard. That's what I've heard. <laughs> I'm lowering the volume on the sound alerts because they're really loud. I mean, don't you want to hear Jeff Goldblum laughing? I don't in your have a problem. Loud. I don't have a problem with that. Okay. <laughs> Because it, it sounded the, like for a moment you I had did, a problem with it. I did the I, applause was... and it was so loud that I couldn't hear Dizzy talking. So. So we're going to lower the volume. I didn't realize how loud they were. Oh, I wasn't saving them. Oh. And then we'll get. So you guys have fly. Because I don't want somebody cutting us off being able to talk. Almost done. Almost done. Take your time. You're good. You won't leave Goldblum laugh at maximum volume because it wasn't that bad. Okay. All right. That has been updated. All right. So you guys both now have fly. Uh, so 
once your turn is starting with you now have 60 movement of fly. Ooh, okay. So I guess I'm going to, as my movement, start flying towards towards the kaiju Mm -hmm. like we gotta get we gotta get moving we gotta get grooving here so so the battle is currently happening about 100 feet away okay 20 ish so i mean honestly you could fly probably within crossbow distance yeah so that's what i'll do is with my movement get me closer uh so i'm not at disadvantage and then Mm -hmm. once i'm in a good amount of footage or foot Mm -hmm. You know, to to do the shot, take the shot. All right, let's do it. So... Roll, roll, roll. You do not roll on disadvantage. Fucking kidding me! I hate this. I really hate this. This is not your day for dice rolls. It's not. Fuck. Well, while she <laughs> shoots, misses entirely. Splash. It hits the water. Okay. So. Uh, that gives us to Anything else you want to do? Any incidentals or anything? No. No, no don't die. Um, no. <laughs> I guess. I guess I wouldn't be able to, like. Wow. No, no, okay. just ignore that roll. Just ignore that for now. I'll deal with that. What the fuck? <laughs> um, well, were you could, continue to tell me what you were saying? I wanted to possibly get out a grenade, but I guess that would be for my next action, right? <laughs> okay, Dizzy, okay. We get it. <laughs> So at this point, the kaiju just kills us all. The end. That's it. That is not what happens. Nope. We're good. <laughs> right, guys. Everyone start making new characters for next, yeah. next session. Next session. Right. Man, it was nice. It was real nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what happens. D20s are not that powerful. Um, what does happen is the kaiju did break the uh, grapple hold that the elemental had. So, mm. um, that so it's is free to move about the cabin. It is. It is free to move. Um, so, okay. and, is its cabin. Mm-hmm. Uh, Our captain has turned off the seatbelt sign. Gotcha. So, mm-hmm. Zeus, what would you like to do? Um, so I think we when we left off, it was about twenty feet away from me. Yes, it hasn't moved. It just broke the the elemental's hold. So, right. um, I'm going to let's see what I want to do. So I am going to, uh, we're going to fly, keep flying towards it, and um, oh, we're just going to, I'm just going to have uh, Jazz do a multi-attack again. Okay. Jazz. All right, come on, Jazz. You've been doing. All right, Jazz. You're doing great so far. Mm-hmm. Keep it up, girl. Oof. Oof. Uh, so that one will miss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that one definitely misses. Oh. Um, no, I don't think a ten hits. <laughs> no, a ten does not hit. What's your bonus again? Uh, plus six. Plus six. Holy crap! Yeah, that hits. <laughs> ten hits. No, no, no. You're eighteen plus plus six. It wasn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that one hits then. Yeah. Uh, cool. So one of the attacks hit. Oh yeah, no, I agreed with you that the tin does not hit. <laughs> <laughs> I moved on. Yeah, I moved on a while hit. ago. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> um. Says uh 
1d6. 1d6? Yep. Three. Three. So that's uh, six damage coming at it. Nice. Woo! So oh, I'm slowly, <laughs> slowly chipping away at it. So it definitely, like, things have been battering against it, and this elemental has not. What did you. Was that the bite or the tail? We'll say that that was the the tail. Okay, so you swooped in and stab, kept moving. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So top of the initiative again. Unpin, unpin, pin, pin. You're coming with me. Woo! Mm -hmm. Nothing. Moving on. Womp, womp. Um, Dilly, you are flying. flying towards this thing. I am flying. I am giddy. And as soon as I figure out, wait, I could, I bolt straight. You, this see, thing. you see Moxie, this tiny little person, just <laughs> and take off. <laughs> You're right behind her. <laughs> oh, yeah, right behind. So uh, I can get within six. Wait, can you guys hear Dizzy talk? Because I'm not hearing anything from him. Yeah, we can hear him. I can hear him. Oh, okay, I was, I was like, uh, am I, I just wanted hey, to check. Hey, sure while he does this thing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna reset this. I'll be right back. Okay. Hmm. Uh, uh, all right. Okay, so, so, do your thing. Uh, I can get. You said it's about a hundred twenty feet away. Mm-hmm. Uh. So, because you can fly 60. Yeah, I can get there. I can get to the kaiju in two spaces, in two two moves, but... Oh, there we go. Oh, that won't work. No, that's, that's walking speed. Um... Are you are you wanting to dash? Um well, I mean still remember there's there's plenty of debris and stuff like that. So if you wanted to kind of do a little bit of like fly over here, run across this, fly there, run across this. I, mean, I want to Since get... that's how movement works in D&D. &D. I mean, yeah, kind of. I mean as long as I can Cause fly I... with I'll fly within. I'll dash. Because mm -hmm. you can just dash, and then we'll figure it out from there. I want to dash, and the, if I can get within thirty feet, that that's my goal is to get within thirty feet of this thing. Yeah, I mean it was one hundred and twenty. You're flying at sixty speed, so if you dash, that's one hundred and twenty feet. You're on it. You're okay. there. So. Yeah. So so that's what you're that's that's you're gonna be your Yep. Okay. Um Do you have any bonus action attacks or anything like that? Uh the only real bonus action I can do is the, the cable boost. Okay. So, so that's not But you're already there. Yeah. So Yeah. So what is what happens is like Moxie takes off and she stops and fires a shot and you just <clears throat> Sonic boom right past her, yeah, right up to the kaiju. <laughs> and as you, what you scratching the post? Okay, um, and you come just like flying up, and as you come to a stop, the eye of the kaiju opens right at you. Hello. <laughs> And it sees you. Oh. <laughs> I'll make a stew out of your eyeball. <laughs> oh, that's a great line. Make a stew out of your eyeball. <laughs> Alright, so he sees me. He sees me. <laughs> he sees you. You have been You have been seen. You have been seen. <laughs> I feel so seen. I'll make a stew out of that eyeball. 
Oh man, that's amazing. That is a great line. <laughs> All right. So I don't know why my. Yeah, the the dancing. We've only been able to see the dancing squares. Sorry, y'all. He's gone. He he's left. I'm he's... still here. My audio. Okay, you know, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, what? <laughs> hey, hey. I was say, okay, I fly up towards. I fly up towards. Uh, towards Inigo, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I I I do a cast. I don't have to. Oh, hey, there. Hey, you hey, 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 now you can see me. I apologize. Oh, I still can't. What? Why is it not loading? So. Whoops. See you, Christmas tree. It just won't Christmas. Let me oh, Christmas. Because I want you guys to be the primary focus. So. Hey, Krimuth. Mayor Krimuth. Guys, I can't see me at all. I'm going to reset my thing again. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Look at me like that, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Zach, I turned. Did you, can you guys still see here. my video now? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Because hey. like, what I'm hey, hey, welcome hey. back. I looked over it at at the stream at a Twitch, and I just see, oh god, a close up of my ugly mug. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we fly, and you're telling this guy you're gonna make an eye, a stew out of his eyes. Yes. Gonna make a stew out of his eyeball. His um, eyeball stew. Yeah. So once that uh. Hey, I'm not sitting in darkness now. <laughs> Let there be light. That's a Let right. there be light. Oh, all right. So now it's once his turn. Oh, that is me. I'm just trying to think what to do because these dice have not been kind to me. They really haven't. You mm -hmm. you definitely can switch weapons if you want to. You're you're yeah. within other range now. Yeah, so, I think I'm gonna put the crossbow, you know, put it on my back, like hook it into mm -hmm. the into my back, and then pull out the sling, pull out the slingshot, and slingshot. get the <laughs> slingshot and a and a grenade. It's time. It's time. <laughs> Junkrat is coming out to play. <laughs> <laughs> Just make sure you can't see the kaiju. You have to find a wall first. Right, I gotta bounce. I gotta bounce it. Get the trick shot. What's, uh, what's your percent to get that tire? Oh, you know, I'm uh, I'm at that 80%. I'm almost there. Yeah. So, yeah. So, the, the best thing about this is the fact that doesn't the kaiju have to roll to dodge? Oh. Can you guys hear me? Uh, now we can, yeah. Now we can. Yep. Doesn't the kaiju have to roll to dodge? Like, it's it's not that you have to hit it. First. Question. I don't know if that's the... Uh, I'm don't. i not sure how explosives or, uh, work in D&D, &D, actually. Because, like, spell attacks, it makes a, a, a check. It specifies. Yeah. Well, some some attacks you have to you have to make an attack roll for some spell attacks. There's just a saving throw. For her, she's gonna have to make a like, like a roll. But I'm pretty sure like, it's just to get close. <laughs> it's an explosive. Yeah. <laughs> um. No, so I guess. The, so so here's my question. Once, are okay. you? Because here's the thing: you're flying. Yeah, I am. You do not have to use the slingshot. That's true. I you don't. can just drop it. Drop the yeah, you, you can know just drop. If that. you're choosing to just drop it, drop it, then, then yeah, yeah. If that's what you're choosing to do, then I will make the kaiju roll to not take like to do half damage, essentially. Dex -save, dex -save. Yeah. So All right. what is your what is your intelligence modifier and your proficiency? Plus three. Plus three? Okay. Yeah. And uh oh, I just had it up. Oh, you idiot. Me. I'm talking to me. I mean I am an idiot, thank you. You are not an idiot. Do not mm. talk about yourself that mm. way. Five. Uh, I should have just left that up because I knew I was gonna have to look at it again. 
Because I want to see what your DC save is. For the bomb. Looking it up, looking it up, looking it up, looking it up. Okay, so your spell set, your spell save DC is eight plus your proficiency plus your intelligence. But yeah, it's still your spell DC. Okay, all right. So eight plus your proficiency, which is four, or is three. Three. Plus your intelligence modifier. Which is four or five? Three? For my for my intelligence? Yeah. Three. For three. Okay. So that's fifteen. DC fifteen. Good rifle. Deal one D eight fire damage to the target it comes level. It's actually two D eight because you're fifth level. A Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to see if it dodges. Please don't. Please get a low roll. So, for the size of the creature, I'm saying that this has to be like a flat roll, just because. Because, come on. This thing is huge. It's not going to dodge. It's like yeah. A, uh, <laughs> you know, like... It just teleports. So I basically, I basically was rolling flat to see if it takes full or half damage. It takes half damage. It takes full damage. So. So that is... I'm confused. Oh, that's all the creatures within five feet of it. Okay, so your grenade does three fire damage. Uh, I don't know, one and two, that looks like a 12 to me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Zach, I couldn't say it better than my <laughs> New dice bone system, numerical. You know, honestly, I see a Hold seven on. and three wood, and I want to go with that. I think that's a seventy-three right there. Actually, I think you need a. I think you need to get your eyes checked here. <laughs> that's a seven. <laughs> a of a seven and three. And, uh, Sophia's back. I just realized you have a little ponytail in the back of your. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've been growing. I'm... I've actually got the like Viking buzz on the side, and I've like grown it? this out. So. Nice. It's long on the side right now. I haven't had a haircut. So. Okay, but you have done damage. You hit him. Woo! I finally did it, guys. I finally <laughs> put some damage on him. Burn. Just as she, again, as she's throwing it, she <laughs> says, bomb voyage, and just boop. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, you were just okay. Yeah. Okay. No, it gets better. Oh, it so, gets better. All creatures within five feet of the impacted target are subject to the explosive splash damage and must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, or take okay. fire damage equal to your intelligence modifier. So I'm hearing that because this is a large enough creature, that it should also take the splash damage. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm a fan. I'm a big fan. Which is three. For so, intelligence? Yeah, plus three for me. Okay. So that's actually a total of six damage. And it three. is fire damage. So. Mm. Very good. Have we made a dent? Is there. Yeah, I mean, you are hurting this guy. So. Yeah. There's a lot yeah, going on. It's about 80 more times. People get there. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're slowly chipping away. 
slowly but surely. All right. So, real quick, are I guess uh, no, I gotta save that for the next round. Never mind. Don't listen to me. Lord, sh- shut up. Well, it's I mean, Kaiju. It's Kaiju's turn. I mean, it is Kaiju's turn. It is so. Kaiju's turn. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Oh, fun for us or fun for the kaiju? Uh, fun for you guys. I feel like. Okay. No? Okay. Okay. I'm remaining. Yeah, yeah. I'm remaining. Hopefully optimistic. As you see the fire damage from her grenade kind of spread across the skin area, the kaiju shakes itself. And then activates one of its legendary actions. Oh, uh, for us. Huh? Oh no! Oh no! This will be fun for you. Okay. Um, because uh, its legendary action is that it's going to be doing. I'm just gonna delete that. Is releasing minions. And we're going to do a combat quick time event. As you guys are all over the kaiju when this is happening, it's essentially a a swarm pops up out of the kaiju. So you guys get to fight. Yeah, its skin ripples and like (laughs) these small winged things come flying out. It's essentially a defense mechanism. To okay. protect itself. Okay. So, um, you guys get to right. choose I, I, I need to if you right. want to fight or dodge. I. You're choosing fight. Uh, we'll go fight. Fight. I'm staring this kaiju literally in the eye. Yeah. Once, do you want to fight, to fight or anything. dodge? I'm gonna dodge because I really don't have. Moxie doesn't have any like true close combat weaponry. Okay. So, because uh, all I have is. So the you range. will use. Yeah, you'll use your acrobatics because you're flying. Okay. Yep, yep. So be your acrobatics modifier, and you guys can use your combat modifiers. So. For whatever weapon you're going to be fighting with. The cables. So. And my cables have been just. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Nine. Ooh, 17. I'll take it. All right. Plus, plus, uh, plus my four there. Mm. 21. Oh. So 13 oh. plus. Uh, Seven, so dirty twenty. Dirty twenty. Mm, dirty What's 20. your combat plus? Uh, mine will is plus seven, so sixteen. Nice. Okay, so you all broke the fifteen DC for this event, uh, or AC. Mm-hmm. Um, tell me what this looks like as these small ring things that essentially look like the tooth fairies from Hellboy. As they zip around trying to bite you in swarms. You all succeed. So please, uh, uh, starting with, let's start with uh, once. (laughs) Tell us, tell us how this looks as your character is, is dodging all this happening. I'm trying to think how, okay. Moxie is just basically like tw- <coughs> hold on Ooh. the water went down the wrong tube <coughs> oh, that's never good Oof. I'm cool though I'm cool okay so Moxie is just basically like twirling her body all around as these little things are just trying to come at her from left to right mm-hmm. and just every twirl just you know a laugh just just laughing the whole time <laughs> just 
just enjoying the ever living shit of what is going on, <laughs> but wanting to like get enough, like ha- put distance as best as she can because she she doesn't have a way to fight him right now with all, with her ranged attacks. So this is kind of opening her eyes that maybe she should get like a sm- small combat knife or something in these moments. But all right. All right. She's dodging. Zeus? Um, an ego reaches down to the side of the saddle, and you see him finally pull out this gigantic, almost jousting like lance. <laughs> and Jasmine just starts, like, almost dancing through the air, just cutting and swerving. He's just skewering these along his lance as he goes. And every now and then you'll see Jasmine. She'll like reach out and start clawing things and hit him with tails. But it's it's more if he's just I, why are you just picking just things out of the air with tooth picking <laughs> stab 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 stab. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yep, exactly. I'll roast those later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Make some tooth fairy kebabs. All right, Dizzy, you literally have just issued this challenge of that you will make soup out of this creature's eye and this swarm like in front of your face <laughs> uh that's fine because i've got a bu- i've got tables and they are very fast and they're very good at just taking things out so he's just since he's floating in place he just like starts spinning almost in midair just the cables flying free <laughs> as he's he turns himself into a blender basically that's exactly what i was mm. thinking <gasps> no. oh that's amazing he's like, a, he's like he's got 40 feet diameter of just cables and just turning everything into puree <gasps> oh jeez and that's once amazing he's finished, once he's finished he tur- he turns back and stares at Stares the kaiju in the eye again. Hi, sweetie. Your turn for dinner. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. Now he turns back and looks at the kaiju and says, "Thank you for the appetizer. You're still the main course." <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> oh man, love it. Oh, so good. All right. All right, Zeus, your turn. Legendary action ended. Me. So, um, so you just finished skewering all these things. Let's see. Uh, I am going to, with my lamp still out, I'm going to go charge and stab it into the kaiju. Yes! Ooh! <laughs> Step, step. Step, 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 step. 12 plus 7? Oh, 19, yeah. Oh. As your lance comes down, as you're coming down, it closes. It like, were you like going for the eye? Kind of thing? Um, or were you just going yeah, to stab yeah. it? Okay. So, like. Go for the eye. Okay, so. You go for the eye, and right as you're about to hit it, it closes the eye, and your weapon glances off. And okay. So. Ah, oh, so close. Fair that would have been so good. Alright, uh, that will be my turn. Okay. So. Gee, freaking workers. Anyway. All right, Dizzy. Uh, was Zeus going for the other eye, not the one I'm still floating in front of? That's up to you guys. If you want to. I mean, we, can, we can make it the other eye, yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay. So it's I'm been chaos gonna... of you guys flying around and doing all this stuff. So. Yeah. Welcome back, Taka. Sorry, I had a different window open. I didn't see you come in. Thanks so, for responding. Taco, did you bring us tacos? Please, taco. I, I just had Taco Bell for lunch, but I don't care. More taco? More taco is always good. 
I had tacos for breakfast. Like you can't ever go wrong with tacos. You really can't. Tacos. Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um. So wolf, I'm gonna need the kaiju to make a dexterity saving throw. Of. Uh, uh, DC 15. Okay. Nope. Okay. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, five, <laughs> uh, I'm doing 5d8 damage. 5d8. So, like, as he's staring this thing in the eye, lightning kind of starts arcing up his spine and starts gathering at his mouth. And oh I'm shit! My, I'm using my chromatic breath weapon. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Pretty oh, good. Jeez. That's what. Sixteen. Twenty-nine. It looks like it. Dang. Sixteen. Oof, yeah, 29. Holy crap. 29 lightning damage right to the eyeball. Yes! You see, you see your mouth, like, we get this scene of the eye as you can't actually see the image of, of, um, uh, him reflected in the eye, but you see this light blossom deep in the kaiju's eye, and then just... <laughs> And the thing jerks its head to the side um, and lets out a just bellow as it starts, like, thrashing its head. Um, and I'm going to have everybody make uh, agility saving throws <laughs> as you try to dodge this <laughs> panic. <laughs> Panicked attack, real quick. Ah! That's fine. We'll go I was with just it. gonna delete. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, that's a thirteen. So. I assume I'd be using Jazz's. Um, yeah. Dex mm -hmm. throw. Okay. Well, that's a zero. So eight. All right. Uh, that's a thirteen for me. Thirteen for you. Or I think you're okay. Yeah, I, I think with a nat twenty, I think I'm pretty okay. <laughs> the kaiju's not okay though. It rolled a four. No, it it, eight, it so. rolled a it rolled a four. So I okay, let's actually say that like it it like slinging its head around and stuff like that, trying to get away from it. It actually is like smashing into more stuff and entering itself more, and you're starting mm -hmm. to see, um, like pieces of wood sticking in its hide from the different ships and stuff that it's damaged um you're starting to see like deck posts from where it plowed through the docks that are sticking into its skin and um so that was that was well done um this is why i play dragonborn clearly <laughs> uh let's see um, what happens to Ugh. so both um jazz and um, Keish get kind of clipped by the kaiju as it's thrashing around. Um, and you both take three damage. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna do something because whoops, ignore that. <laughs> that was not what I intended to do. 
I, I'm okay. Yeah, with <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. I don't like the dice for my die roll. Go I like the kaiju Jesus dice for whatever happens next. Just <laughs> the rest of it. Can so, you put a penny up? Put in the kaiju dice. So you've only used one grenade. How many can you make? One what? Grenade. Me? Yes. yes. How many can you make? Yes. Fuck, how many did we say I could make again? It's it's your intelligence modifier. Oh, it's, let me. It's here. Man. Oh, I've got it right here. Yeah. Applying completely long rest. The number of explosive equal to their intelligence modifier plus proficiencies bonus. So that's three plus... Plus three. So six. six so you yeah. have five. I have five still. Oh, hey, Ryan, um, uh, when, you, when you get a second, can you roll a d20 for me while I'm thinking about it? I need to maintain concentration on magic weapon. Oh, that's right. Oh, it dropped. It dropped. Well, she's not using okay. it at the moment. So. Yeah, so I guess that's... So, with your d20 dodging his attack, um, once I'm going to give you an opportunity to do something fun real quick. Okay. I'm getting an opportunity, boys. Um, as you're dodging around, mm -hmm. you have a brief moment during its, like, roar where your dodge lets you pass through its open mouth. Let's lava it in there! Um, <laughs> and if someone in the stream can do something... Uh, well, well, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to do this because we'll worry about that later. Um, I'm going to give you this ability later. Uh, okay. You're going to get this action where I'm going to call it pull the pen. And you essentially just do the grenade line and pull all the pins at once and drop it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Carpet bomb. Carpet basically. Bomb. Mm -hmm. And your those are two D8s per times five so mm -hmm. <laughs> oh boy so that is 10 <laughs> the eighth <laughs> right into its open mouth. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten gonna let it do the math. <laughs> mm -hmm. nice. 55. Plus your splash damage, which is five per bomb. So an additional an additional uh twenty five. Twenty five damage. Mm -hmm. So eighty points of damage? You just did eighty points of damage in one turn. <laughs> <laughs> you are comp oh god <gasps> oh man jeez oh welcome to <laughs> welcome to crab D D. <laughs> <laughs> see you taco have fun man Bye, Taco. Bye, Taco. Holy Bye. crap. So you lie through his mouth, pull the pins, they fall in, and there is just <laughs> fire going everywhere. Holy crap. Um, so much damage. It's inside of its mouth. Half the side of its mouth just blows open. And it's now got this giant gaping hole in the side of its face from this blast. It is still alive. It is not dead. Yes. Um, however... 
Um, he heard. See you, Taco. Like I said, sorry. Sending me, sending messages. Peace out, Cub Scout. Peace out. Bow, bow. The, the kaiju is not having this. It it decides to to try to run. Um, as it does, a sets of magical chains shoot out from different ships and shore and start to lock it in place from different allies locking it down and it is still like ripping these chains it's pulling the chips along they're trying to keep it from escaping uh it is copying zeus's turn See, um, um, uh, all right. So imagine I'm I'm still like right up in space, kind of. I imagine that you've been like keeping track with it. However, um, it now has a massive gaping vulnerability, um, and I'd say you're probably like, if you want. If you wanted to, you could be about 50 feet away if you wanted to do something. That would be fun. I feel like I know what you want me to do. You can do it if you want to. I'm just a silver platter. Right, yeah, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to dash, and uh, you said about 50 feet away? I, yeah, I could say 50, so. Yeah, um, so yeah, I will dash, and then I will, um, by doing so, I'm going to use, uh, the Peregrine Strike ability. Peregrine, Peregrine, word. Yeah. Grin, yeah. Alright, so, um, that's my bonus action, so, uh, for every 10 feet I'm dashing over my, my base speed, um, which will be, um, oh god, math. You could be further away if, if you want to up this. Let's um, do like yeah, a sweep, sure. sweep around. Um, we'll say yeah, because like from where I'm trying to go, because I'm, I'll say I'm gonna like kind of like sweep, like kind of sweep around, and I'm gonna aim for the the like part like in the mm -hmm. giant like hole, and keep digging in that wound. Um, so we'll just use my full dash speed, which is eighty. Which yeah. Be, yeah, forty over my uh my base speed, so that'll be a um. Uh, I mean, I have, to, I have to roll to hit first. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you're gonna get advantage because they are locking it down. So it's, it's a little too busy at the moment. Um, I'm so, busy at the moment. those aren't rolls, I'm just pulling them out. So. I like the 19. <laughs> <laughs> like nah, go, go ahead, roll. I'll see what you get. I mean, no, I mean, like, I've actually... I'm okay with that because I've been just clicking them out and you guys have been accepting them. So, advantage 19, you hit. So, oh. all right, then. All right, so that's going to be, um, let's see, uh, 40 feet over. So, that'll be 44. 44. 44. 4d4. Um, sorry. Yeah, yeah. 4d4 is. So that's eight damage. Eight points damage, but I uh, will not get prone. I don't know how I can do that with a huge kaiju, but apparently that's what the ability does. <laughs> I love this. So this actually works out perfectly for this. Um, so as you're streaking in, coming at it, it kind of rolls its head. Huh? Coming in hot. Coming in hot. <laughs> Coming in hot. And the the kaiju like turns its head and it's like turning its head and you see this light charge up in its mouth as it's building up to an attack. And your lance just comes in right underneath the eye where it's been blasted, stabs in, and knocks the head to the side. 
the attack dissipates past you off into the sky. So nothing happens there. And as its head rolls to the side, um, you get splashed with its blood. You and Jasmine both. Nice. <laughs> Wait, what color is the blood? The blood of this creature is a, like, dark green. No, not lovely. Alright, so but... you look like my dice now. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I kind of did that on purpose. <laughs> so as you guys both get splashed in this blood that has coated you, an important moment of lore that I've mentioned is that these beings are sources of magic in this world. And as this blood splashes over both of you, uh, Jasmine levels up. Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey. Alright, so my wyvern goes to level 6. <laughs> yes. Nice. With that level 6, your wyvern now gets poison tail attacks. Nice. And in this moment, Jasmine's tail rips around and the eye was not damaged on this side this was the one that you tried to stab earlier and it protected itself mm -hmm. and her tail goes between the eyeball and the lid Ooh. and stabs behind the eye Ooh. Poison tip lobotomy. Yes. Oh. So her tail in there, and in that moment, her tail gets a brief power up and does not just do poison damage. From the boost from the magic, a concussive effect comes out from the tail of magic and oh. blows a freaking hole through its skull and the kaiju falls into the water. Yeet! You guys just freaking killed your first kaiju. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Oh. Uh, you see, uh, as the as the I just kind of carried through with the strike, she jabs it with his tail, then you see, you guys see me swoop kind of back out of like the crater in its in its uh inside of its head and i'm i'm holding my lance like doing like the tuscan raider like yes <laughs> the mages see mages all everybody with mag small magical abilities around you all start sending up flares and fireworks and oh. bright lights start going up um Light spells, magic orbs, colors, everything, uh, in, in, to acknowledge that the kaiju has fallen. And, uh, so. Just like Mardi Gras. Yeah, just like Mighty Gras. So. Excellent. Well done, you all. <laughs>